On the banks of the Mississippi, the Louisiana Bayou is a quiet sanctuary of the Deep South. Each fall, the tranquility of this place is shattered by a roar as the fever pitch of college football reaches unparalleled heights. A perfect season has brought the Tigers to Atlanta with dreams of championship glory. All of LSU Nation hopes today will be the day the inevitable becomes reality. The quiet streets of Athens, Georgia are vibrant with culture, but the passion that runs deepest through this town is painted red and black. This is a team as stubbornly determined as their Bulldog mascot, undeterred by the season's disappointing 0-2 start. The Georgia faithful hope their perseverance will be rewarded with an SEC title. Goes into the end zone, caught, leaping, got it, touchdown Georgia. From the backside, got it, Jarvis does it again. Way downfield, caught, touchdown. Oh my goodness, Georgia will head to the SEC championship. Today, the pride of the South is on the line. From Baton Rouge to Athens, a lifetime of dreams is at stake. And one team will return home as champions of the SEC. on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper, the Bulldogs of Georgia against the Tigers of LSU. Good evening, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, along with Gary Danielson, 20th playing of this event. The last time Georgia was here, 2005, they beat LSU. Last time the Tigers were here, 2007, they defeated Tennessee and went on to win the national title. They're hopeful of repeating that accomplishment. Let's bring you up to date with the current BCS standings. There's LSU sitting atop, almost a unanimous number one. Alabama, a unanimous number two, as play begins on this Saturday night. Gary, a lot of people are saying the consensus is that LSU's in the championship game regardless of what happens here, that this is an exhibition game. Well, the, the first part may be true, but the second part is not. I guarantee you, if Georgia's going to beat LSU, they're going to beat them with their A game. Come on, they've got a chance to go undefeated, maybe if they were playing next week, but they got over a month. They will be ready to play. Well, we know they are good. What makes them so good? You know, Vern, they've got great players but the really the thing that makes them good is whatever weakness you have they can exploit it with their playmakers and their number one playmaker is a little guy number seven Tyron Matthew he kind of epitomizes what their playmakers on the field do whether it's a punt return coverage finding ways to rip out the ball causing fumbles he's one of those guys that just seems to find big plays and he's got big plays on all around starting to find some big plays on offense with Jordan Jefferson. Not only a runner like the first half of the season, he's now getting his arm back and he's throwing the ball. He's very dangerous and he's playing his best football of the year. The Georgia Bulldogs have a fine resume themselves. Three months ago tonight, they lost in this facility to a good Boise State team. They lost then to South Carolina. They won 10 in a row. And how do they compete effectively in this one? You know, they've got a good defense. 
fans, Vern. I mean, quietly, everyone's talking about LSU and Alabama. But look at this Georgia defense, ranked fifth. Now, they played a little different schedule. We'll concede that. But they've got players up front with a lot of size that can match up. Defensive line and Jenkins. At linebacker, Jarvis Jones is a game-breaker in his own right. And in the back end, Rambo is a stealer. He's a ball hawk. They're going to have to produce some big plays on defense, and they've got the guys to do it. George has got a sophomore quarterback, Aaron Murray, might be playing as well as any quarterback in the SEC. We know they need a big game from him. I think he's the best combo quarterback that LSU has faced this year. He's throwing the ball. He's hot, very hot throwing the ball. He also can make first downs with his feet. But I think he's going to need some help. Richard Samuel, the power back that gave him size, is not going to play. He did not dress Isaiah Crowell, just a freshman. They don't have size behind him. Here's the next two guys, Thomas and Harton. Very small. Who else might help out for Murray? First on the field. LSU began this season under Les Miles so strongly. She's live. Tracy is with Les Miles. Coach, the talk this week has been that LSU is in the national championship game no matter what. How did you make sure your team didn't overlook the importance of an SEC title? Conference champions. Western Division, now conference. We go no further than that. It is a limited vision. Jordan Jefferson is taking control of this team. How do you make sure he's successful against this Georgia defense? Do the stuff we do on offense, but let him play his game. Thanks a lot. Good luck today. Thank you. There's the senior, Jordan Jefferson. LSU, Georgia. Tip coming up. The SEC Championship game on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper, is sponsored by Nissan. LG Autotrader.com and by new Dr. Pepper 10. Kind of car do I want? Now at Autotrader.com, compare new and used cars and even special offers. Gotta be new. So when you find the right car, you'll know it in your heart. Autotrader.com. Sweet. The ultimate automotive marketplace. Leadership, excellence, performance. It's what Heisman and Athlac's all about. Athlac, an official partner of the Heisman Trophy. Hey, ladies. Enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. That one, Daddy. It's beautiful. I'm the world's greatest Douglas fir. I'm the perfect shape. I'm the perfect color. My scent, like making love to a lumberjack. But halfway home, my twine gets loose. <laughs> and your cut rate insurance might not pay for this. So get all state, where you can save money and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Dollar for dollar, nobody protects you from mayhem like all state. How are we going to make this season better than the last? How about making it brighter, more colorful? and putting all our helpers to work. So we can build on our favorite traditions by adding a few new ones. We've all got garlands and budgets to stretch, and this year we can keep them both evergreen. More saving, more doing, that's the power of the Home Depot. Can you smell those savings? Fresh cut Christmas trees are arriving weekly.
Georgia Dome filled to capacity for this uh, meeting between the East and the West. LSU leads the all-time series 15 12 and 1 though the Bulldogs have won three of the last four. Georgia won the toss. They deferred the option and so they will kick off and it's going to be Morris Claiborne and Ron Brooks back and to kick off for the Georgia Bulldogs. Blair Walsh. Claiborne two yards into the end zone. Ankle tackle at the 11. Blake Sailors made the stop. And now the senior Jordan Jefferson. What a journey he's had this year. Started the last two years. Suspended for the first four games of the season because of his involvement in a parking lot fight. Took over the starters as a starter after the win over Alabama. Jarrett Lee, that young man who had led them so effectively in the first half of the year through two interceptions in the win against Alabama. Michael Ford is the starting tailback. Option. Nice pop on the sidelines. That was Sean Williams, number 36. Let's uh, bring you the remainder of the lineup presented by Dr. Pepper. Up front, Chris Falk, Will Blackwell, P.J. Lonergan, Williford, and Alex Hurst. Ruben Randall, one of the star receivers on this team. Stampley, the fullback, Ware, Peterson, the tight end, and Otis Beckham, Jr. And Kenny Hilliard is going to get this carry after the play fake perhaps here's Jefferson going deep nice ball knocked away by Brandon Boykin it was two on two in a one on one situation if you're going to look for big plays from LSU Ruben Randall is the guy that provides him this ball was thrown late if Jefferson had thrown this ball earlier and let Randall run underneath it, they had a big play. Little message early by LSU. Run wide to spread out the defense and throw deep to back them up. How about that? Georgia wins the first two downs. It's third and seven. Chase Clement, the tight end, number 88, leaning in to make sure he's got the count. Looks like a little confusion in the offensive backfield. Jefferson. Down at the 11. Great start for the Bulldogs. Cornelius Washington. That's his fifth sack of the year. He's listed as a linebacker, but in the dime package, he lines up as a defensive end. Look at they kept the back in on this side to help on Jones. And Washington comes around the short corner to make the sack. That brings on Brad Wing to punt. And one of the outstanding elements of the special teams of LSU is their punt return defense. Wing, look at this. His opponents averaging 21 inches per punt return. They've been able to return only 13 for a grand total of six yards. Now Boykin is back. And we've got a clock issue. Matt Austin is the referee explaining it to Mark Richt. And now the explanation. The play clock is malfunctioning, therefore it will be kept on the field. And so it will be fourth and 13 following the sack. What kind of issues does that present? Uh, I think it's not bad for the quarterback. The back judge will put his hand up with 10 seconds to go. It's not a big problem. The Australian putter from the end zone, Brad Wing. Breaking back, this one high. And a fair catch taken. That's the kind of thing we've seen from Brad Wing all season long. 50-yard punt. And again, nothing on the return. 
Sophomore from Tampa, Florida. Second year as a starter, Aaron Murray. And Gary, he's really come on late in the season. Yeah, he, he's just gotten more consistent. The Georgia people knew that he made big plays, but now he's settled down to make all the plays. And it looks like Eric Reed is back out in his slot where he was at safety right there, putting Matthew back at the corner spot. And Crowell is not in the starting offensive backfield. It's a tiny one. Carlton Thomas, number 30. Crowell, only three plays the last two games. Here's Murray out to the five foot seven inch running back. Whoa. Tyron Matthew makes his presence felt on the first LSU defensive play. Well, that was a good height match up there. Matthew against five seven against five seven. And the guy in white made a good tackle. Second down, Murray back, pumps once. He's got a man wide open. It's caught at the 30. This is Tavares King inside the 20-yard line. And he did it at one of the best corner covers in college football. Double move. Watch the double move here and go on Claiborne. A pump fake. Good protection. Claiborne slips. And if the ball had been thrown out a little farther, that could have been a scoreboard changer for Murray. 44 yards as it stands, and the stop made by Tyron Matthew. First down, 10. In a scoreless first quarter thus far. This one overthrown. Well, let's bring you the Dr. Pepper starting lineups offensively for Georgia. Glenn Gates. Ben Jones, Burnett, and Anderson, the offensive line. Mitchell, Figgins, the fullback. There's Thomas, the running back. And he replaces Isaiah Crowell, Orson Charles, the tight end, and Tavares King. It's second down and 10. Well, without Samuel and Crowell, you wonder if Mike Bobo and Mark Rick just said, the heck with it, let's throw it. Good protection. Pass uh, across the middle. Missed him. Missed him badly. That could have been a big play. Malcolm Mitchell, the intended receiver. LSU's defense. Ranked number two in the country to Alabama, but they're equal. Adams, Brockers, Logan up front. Francois, Minter, and Baker, the linebackers. And the secondary about as good as you'll find in college football. Claiborne, Taylor, Reed, and Matthew. Third down. <laughs> See if that was Justin Anderson who jumped. Full start. 79 offense. It was. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Yes, you know, and right now it may be the Georgia Dome, but they're going in, as you see, movement up front. They're going into the LSU section of the field. That's where the fan base is to the kind of the TV screen to the right over here is where they're headed into, and they're making a lot of noise. LSU has allowed through 12 games only one. First quarter touchdown, one. Bonus points, if you can tell me who it was. Yeah, Western Kentucky. There you are. We all read, right? <laughs> <laughs> no surprises. Third down, 11. A lot of protection by the offensive line. Murray into the end zone through the hands of Tavares King. That is three big plays in a row that Georgia has missed. The throw to Mitchell over the middle, bad throw from Murray. The, and then this one, again, you remember the double move to King early? Well, look at the protection here across the line. LSU only bringing three, but great protection, and King should have caught this football. That's a touchdown right there. Here's Blair Walsh. And he has really improved here at the end of the season. That makes it six out of his last seven. The only miss was from 52 yards after he suffered through a terrible midseason slump. Well, how about a message from Georgia? Five plays on that drive. The last one could have been a touchdown. They didn't run it once.
Maniac. The mid-size Nissan Frontier with full-size horsepower and torque. Innovation for doers. Innovation for all. LG Cinema 3D glasses are sensibly priced. For more fun, with more friends. Experience the next generation 3D TV. LG Cinema 3D. More people, more fun. Conventional 3D glasses need recharging regularly. Still missing the 3D action? Introducing the next generation 3D TV LG Cinema 3D. Battery free, hassle free. This is $100,000. We ask total strangers to watch it for us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll be right back. They didn't take a dime. How much in fees does your bank take to watch your money? If your bank takes more money than a stranger, you need an ally. Ally Bank. No nonsense. Just people sense. LG, as a proud NCAA corporate partner, presents great SEC rivalries. I made up my mind, we're going to stay at the University of Tennessee. Yeah! What an athletic play by David Pollock. Three, two, one, zero! Holy cow, what a game! Tebow throws it, it's caught, touchdown! This guy's unbelievable. Come on now, you can't do this stuff. Ingram, only one man can get him. Beating a very good Florida team. Newton, pile drives, touchdown! Auburn, of course, won this game last year, went on to win the national championship. This is the 20th playing this event, and we had a nice visit about an hour ago with Roy Kramer, the former commissioner of the SEC, and it was Roy Kramer who came up with the idea of holding the first ever conference championship. Blair Walsh will kick off, and again, it's going to be Claiborne and Brooks, the deep backs. It is interesting. Claiborne lines up on the 10 yard line. The last one went into the end zone. Onside kick. Ah, yes. It might have been recovered by Georgia. How about this? It was recovered by Georgia. The ball bounced once, went real high. Was it Ogletree that got it? Yes. It was Ogletree. Watch yes. One bounce. Real high. Now it's a free ball. And number nine comes down with it. Ogletree. Hey, Vern, I've said it all the time. Want to be champions? It's not easy. The other guys want to be champions, too. And if you're two touchdown underdogs, yep. don't leave anything in the holster. Well, Ogletree, the freshman. We said it in the open. Without Crowell and Samuel, I don't think Georgia felt they could match up. Now let's see if they can pass block. That'll be the key to the game. Here's Murray. His receiver slips. That was Michael Bennett, number 82, and Crowell was in the game. We were told the decision to start Thomas was a coach's decision. Crowell has been suspended one time this year. He's missed a couple of games with injuries. He was one of the more highly recruited running backs in high school yeah. last year. Second down. First snap under center. Ben Jones is the center. Crowell, nothing. Kendrick Adams, number 94, to make the stop. Well, it's not like LSU hasn't been behind just last week, 14-0. Right. I don't see any panic in this team. They have played such a great schedule. You know, that tough win at Bryant Denny against Alabama, that's as nerve-wracking as it can get. Third down, 12. Got a glimpse of Sam Montgomery. Here comes the blitz, and 
The flag is thrown. This is a free play. And it's caught by Malcolm Mitchell. Yeah, that back shoulder throw has been huge for Georgia. That was basically the game against Florida. Remember they hit right. those two fourth down plays against Florida? I think Matthew was in the neutral zone, and you're right, free play. Offside, defense number seven. Penalties decline. Play results in the first down. You talk to every offensive coordinator in the SEC, and they say you must block number seven when he comes off the slot. Here's the back shoulder throw that was designed against Thurl Simon that time. Perfect throw, perfect execution. Play clock has been uh, fixed. Now Chris Conley, number 31, true freshman, wide to the left, began getting extensive playing time in the middle of the year. Backs in the eye on first down 10. Crowell. Well, LSU number two in the country against the run, second only to Alabama. And Carnell Hatcher made that stop. Ron Brooks getting extensive playing time now, and this is his senior. He's one of eight five-year seniors, redshirt seniors on this LSU team who were in civilian clothes when LSU was last here, 2007, their national championship season when they won in this building against Tennessee. Got into the BCS championship game with two losses. Murray back, pressure. It's Matthew. Oh, boy, did he get a pop. Matthew was the first there, and then Sam Montgomery was second. And Crowell is going off the field limping very badly. He got run over by Matthew. Again, coming off the slot. When you're in the 3-4 look, they love to bring number seven. Watch him run right over Crowell. He must not have strength in that ankle that's been bothering him all week. You've got to be able to stand up and take that on. There's Matthew and Montgomery. And Matt Austin, there was a flag. Holding, offense number 60, 10-yard penalty, still second out. That's the center, Ben Jones. John Chavis has right away gone to his 3-4 look. That's what allowed Brooks to come in the game. He's feeling a passing game. Brooks is kind of a, a hybrid player. There's John Chavis. Brooks lines up at an outside linebacker, but he's listed as a safety, a corner, and an outside linebacker. John Chavis, one of the finals for the Broyles Award. It goes to the outstanding assistant coach in college football. Amazing that in 17 years as a coordinator, he's never won it. Second down. Murray. Got it. Carson Charles. That's Plant High School to Plant High School. They were teammates in Tampa. And this is the exact matchup he threw. He should have thrown the ball, too. He has Charles matched up against inside against the linebacker, Hatcher. That's the matchup you want to go to. Perfect throw right to the outside. He led him to the opening. Charles with 41 catches for the year now. Alexander Ogletree, who is the fraternal twin of Alec Ogletree, is now in at fullback. You see him there, number 46. Well, they've been gambling all day. Do they do it again, or do they run it? Carlton Thomas is the tailback. Third and a yard. They're going to gamble. Murray hides it well. Double coverage downfield. Man is working loose. Flag. Might have been thrown on Claiborne. Let's see. Or it could have been offensive. Yeah, I think it's going to be on Claiborne. He grabbed his jersey or arm or whatever. You can see the game plan. LSU better be ready for the kitchen sink. Yep. Comes inside. He gets a grab on the jersey. They called it right there. That'll Holding be a first down. Defense from the 17. The 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. And in essence, now Georgia has converted a second and 20. Yeah. Inside play fake. We kind of figured it. Put the ball a la David Green, right? Yes. Yeah, I used to watch back in the day. Even though you weren't employed here. <laughs> Matt, David Green is the all-time leader in touchdown passes for Georgia. Led this team to a championship in this game with his, uh, his fraternal twin almost, David Pollock. 
That was an 0-2. First down and 10. Well, if you want an instructional video on defensive holding, you've got one from Morris Claiborne. End around. They're going to try and throw it. Mitchell pumps, keeps it, hit from behind and downed by Kendrick Adams, number 94. Well, that was a great job by the LSU defense. They've now figured out that we've got to cover the whole field. We're going to keep our safeties back. They keep a safety way back there. It's a reverse. It was a pass. Nobody to throw to. And Frank, how about this? Your freshman, true freshman, you hand the ball to him and say, pass it or run it, and yeah. he didn't make a big mistake for you. Marlon Brown is on now as an out wide receiver. Wide to the near side. Here's the first bear look so far. Oh, they're checking out of it. Bear look means they'll bring three guys. Oh, they did. They went back to it. Three right. guys over the two guards in the center. Blitz threatened. Blitz coming. And a dead ball foul, I believe. Well, last time Georgia was down here, they self-inflicted themselves out of seven points. Remember with the offside? They're going to do it again. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Full second down. Last time it was a legal procedure. This time a delay a game. Well, they had those missed opportunities on their first drive of the game. Yeah, Malcolm Mitchell wide open. If that's out in front of him, he's got a middle linebacker on Min Minter, then an illegal procedure, and then a possible touchdown catch. Would have been a nice catch, but one to win the SEC championship you got to make. Second down, 16. Murray, slant pattern, mixed up with Michael Bennett. He turned for the corner. Did Bennett. Well, there's back shoulder throws, and then there's back rear end throws. This is, <laughs> that one doesn't work as good. You got to eventually turn around and look for the ball. <laughs> yeah, it's never a good sign when your posterior gets yeah. involved. Never good. They're about six inches higher, but that's, you get the point. Third down, 16. Let's see what LSU has planned defensively on this one. Yeah, and, and remember, field goal range, you know, five, six, seven yards gets them a field goal try. Back out of the blitz. They are bringing five, the pass. Oh, 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 one try. Wow! Their best receiver, the freshman Malcolm Mitchell. Oh, brother. LSU is playing combo coverage. This is the second drop pass. I'm calling them drops. Simon passes him off to the safety, and the safety doesn't go get him. Mitchell hurried it into the end zone, and you see Reed turn around and go, number 24, but what are you doing? I, You have to run with that guy. 45-yard attempt for Blair Walsh. It drifts uh -uh. right, uh -huh. and it stays right. How about that stop by the LSU defense? Georgia helped them again. The onside kick successfully attempted. The field goal unsuccessfully attempted. Here's the senior Blair Walsh. He hit from 40. He misses from 45. And the LSU coach appreciated that one. Aaron Murray. Pass wound up on the ground. This SEC Championship Diamond Moment is presented by K Jewelers. The 2003 SEC Championship was a rematch of the regular season game between LSU and Georgia, but this game was all Tigers. Behind freshman Justin Vincent, the Tigers scored early and often as he rushed for a championship game record 201 yards with two touchdowns. The Tigers' victory was their second SEC title in three seasons, and they would go on to win the BCS National Championship as well. I wanted to get Cindy something special this year. She went to K. She'll love it. <laughs> Trust me. I know. <laughs> the Charmed Memories Collection at K Jewelers. Each charm is handcrafted in Italy, and with hundreds of charms to choose from, the possibilities are endless. Create your own memories with Charmed Memories. One more reason K is the number one jewelry store in America. I love it. Santa said you would. No, really. Every kiss begins with K. Every 
day, millions of people choose to do the right thing. There's an insurance company that does that too. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Responsibility. What's your policy? When I grill lobster, I make sure it's a melt-in-your-mouth kind of experience. The wood fires up the grill a little bit hotter, so you really get a good sear, and it locks in the juices. Surf and turf. You can't go wrong. Don't miss Red Lobster's Surf and Turf event. Choose from three grill combinations all under $20, like our main lobster with peppercorn sirloin or our new bacon-wrapped shrimp with blue cheese sirloin for $14.99. I think the guests are going to take a bite and be like, oh, man, this is so awesome. I'm Grill Master John Zane. I'm Grill Master Adriana Hollis. And, and we see food definitely. NFL tomorrow on CBS regional action the lead game early Cincinnati at Pittsburgh and then we've got five others to complement that one there's one late game Baltimore at Cleveland it all begins with James Brown and the NFL today tomorrow 12 noon Eastern presented by Southwest Airlines Jim Nance going to Pittsburgh doing double duty this weekend he and Clark Kellogg called that uh, thrilling season opening basketball for us Kentucky hung on to defeat North Carolina 73 72 J.C. Copeland is the fullback now the blitz is coming and here comes Spencer Ware cuts it out near the 31 yard line and this is the second offensive series for LSU so let's introduce you to the Georgia defense Jones Jenkins and Garrison Smith who replaced D'Angelo Tyson who was injured last week had a big game. Jarvis Jones is having an All-American season. The outside linebacker Gilliard, Ogletree, and Washington. And the secondary coming, Sean Williams, Bakari Rambo. And it's second down. Tipped incomplete. Intended for Beckham, knocked away by Brandon Boykin. Well, Brandon Boykin's one of those experienced secondary players for Georgia. Right there on the numbers. Watch him break on the ball. They've already started to go once, went deep on him. He made the play, and now he clamps on that well-thrown ball. That's two great plays. And second time now that Georgia's defense has won the first two plays of the series. It's third and seven again. LSU three and out with their first possession. Three down, they're blitzing from the corner. And that will be stopped far short of the first down. And fists fly. Copeland, the fullback, I didn't see who was involved for Georgia. Well, Might have been Sean Williams. I'm not sure. Todd Grantham gave LSU a different look that time. Went a three-man line on fourth down and did a zone blitz from the field, meaning from the wide side of the field, he brought the slot. Usually on fourth, on third down passing situations, it's a four-man line. Not this time. Ogletree. Ogletree trying to keep his quarterback clean. Yeah. His wing, rugby punt. Oh, boy, he boomed this one. My gracious. And a yard too far into the end zone. It will come out to the 20. That was a 64-yard punt. Remember, he had one of 73 yards in that win over Alabama. Two three and outs. One big drop pass for Georgia. John Hancock Mutual Funds. Visit jhfunds.com. On my journey across America, I've learned that when you ask someone in Texas if they want big savings on car insurance, it's a bit like asking if they want a big hat. Uh, excuse me. Or a big steak. 
more big air. I think we have our answer. In fact, separates real from what happened, dreaming I could live another day. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Cowboys and Aliens is the ultimate Blu-ray experience. You ready to get your people back? Get the extended movie with perfect high-def picture and sound. They're coming back! Includes Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Hot damn. Cowboys and Aliens. Own it this Tuesday. We've got another number. Detective Carter. These heroes must protect the one person who can blow their cover. Getting too close, you risk getting caught. Person of Interest, new episode CBS Thursday. Georgia has the lead and the ball for the third time. They're up 3 0. But they could have had a lot more, Gary. Yeah, the first one was a bit high, but could have been caught right through the hands. King and the second one was a gift. It's a walk in. Mitchell thought about scoring before he thought about catching it. A complete bust in the secondary for LSU. Eric Reed turned around very upset with his corner that on that play. That was a bust. Should have cost him seven. It missed field goal, cost him nothing. And Isaiah Crowell is back on the field. We saw him limp off, favoring his ankle, but uh, he is behind Aaron Murray now. First down 10 at the 20. Crowell left, cuts back right. Matthew got him down around the ankles, but he picks up a first down at the 31. Well, I can tell you the story of this game so far, and he's going to limp off again. It's going to be an occurrence all game, has been the offensive line for Georgia. They're giving Murray time to throw, and if they can block like that from the one-back set, because LSU has their nickel package in. You can always see it. When Matthew goes to the slot, that means they're playing five or six defensive backs, and there he is again on the slot right to the outside. He backs out. The handoff goes to Carlton Thomas, who picks up four. And for an update on Aaron Murray, let's check in with Tracy. Well, guys, Aaron Murray spent the whole time on the sideline getting some bloody fingers taped up on his throwing hand. He was tended to by the trainers. They did do a lot of taping. He tried to throw with it, though, and he couldn't. So he just ripped all the tape off, and he's just going to deal with it. All right, Trace, thank you. Second down, six. Pay action, pass out, drop again. That's the fullback, Bruce Figgins. What's that, four now at least? At least. And, and you know, the, the, the game plan has LSU off balance. They're running the ball when they think it's a pass. They're play action passing them. They're throwing effectively even from the shotgun but Georgia can't catch the ball Mike Bobo the former Georgia quarterback is the offensive coordinator so I taught Grantham the defensive coordinator a while ago let's see if they don't come after the little backs with the blitz see Ryan Baker up on the line at the 22 he does come they stunt Murray goes the other direction Throws it over Matthew's head. It was intended for Orson Charles. And it'll be fourth down. Yeah, there was nothing there. That was a, a good ball that he didn't throw accurately because Matthew was right there. And Tyron Matthew, who electrified the LSU crowd last Friday with a 92-yard punt return that tied it up. So, oh, now they're going to switch. Yeah, that, that means they might go for a block, yes. don't you think? Yep. So Odell Beckham goes back, number 33. And Drew Butler, Ray Guy Award winner in 2009, comes the rush show. Oh, nice one. Whoa, dandy. Fair catch taken at the 10 yard line. And they did go for the block. Handled well by Georgia. There is a flag down. This is going to be, if it's movement by Georgia up front, yes, yes. it's going to come back. Think about that field position. Remember where the ball was. The ball was on the 10 or 11 yard line. Let's see the five yard penalty, what the difference Illegal will formation mean. formation on the kicking team, not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Five yard penalty, repeat fourth down. Well, all I can think of is the guys to the right side of the line were cheated too far back over here. They needed to move up a little bit and get their helmets near the center. 
Oh, that negates a 55-yard punt by Drew Butler. Boy, it looks almost exactly the same again. Oh, they snuck up this time. Matthew is back now in place of uh, Becker. In between the 15 and 20-yard line. Another good one. Matthew's going to let it bounce. Oh, watch out. Look at that. That's a, that's a miscue by Matthew. You bet. Well, you take away my 55-yard punt. Let me give you this one. 57 yards. Chick-fil-A's Peppermint Chocolate Chip Milkshake. Available only for the holidays. You'd be shocked how much data you use in a month. Email, status updates, finding your way, uploading photos, downloading an app, an app, and another app. Kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, all stacking up until you reach your limit. And what happens if you go over? With Sprint, you don't have to worry. Only Sprint offers truly unlimited data. If it's time for tailgating, it's time for s'mores. Pure chocolate goodness that brings people together. Pure Hershey's. Michael, every day you make me proud. Here's to a future that's as bright as you are. With over 165 years of experience, New York Life can help ensure your loved ones are always taken care of. It's the most selfless gift you can give. This week, Dave's All New with Matt Damon, Charlize Theron, Jessica Biel. And Monday, don't miss Jonah Hill. All New Dave, a People's Choice nominee. Late first quarter, Georgia up 3 nothing, but squandered opportunities for them. And now Red Lobster presents today's scholar athletes. We're going to go two of them. Aaron Murray from Georgia, major in psychology, a GPA of 3.38. And on the offensive line from uh, LSU, P.J. Lonergan, business management major. Red Lobster's commitment to the investment of our future is shown this evening by donating $1,000 to each university's general scholarship fund. Spencer Ware is the tailback. J.C. Copeland is the fullback. Inside the 10. Play action. Jefferson steps up. Pumps once. Goes deep. Overthrown. Badly overthrown for Randall. And Sanders Cummings had a chance to intercept that one. No big plays being made by Georgia to kind of get some distance early in the game. Ball's high. Watch Cummings has a chance to make that one, and it almost hits him right in the forehead. Todd Grantham is the architect of this bigger defense for Georgia. More size. He's a Nick Saban disciple. He's built it in that style. Alfred Blue, number four, is the running back. Jefferson keeps it, comes left. It's coming back, though. Chris Falk's going to get called for holding on the play number 76. Matt Austin with the preliminary indication. When we talk about a Saban-style defense, is they want to be big on the defensive line right here. And then their outside linebackers, Jones and Cornelius Washington, got to be big to set the edges. He believes, and this theory is, they have to be able to stop the run with seven people. They want to keep their safeties back to keep away the big play. They do not want to go eight men in the box. If they have to go eight men in the box, they're going to lose. Second down, 14. Well, Gary mentioned Georgia's defense. At the beginning of the telecast, there's Jefferson to the five. Third down, 
and a bunch. Cornelius Washington makes the tackle. Alabama, Florida, and then Georgia this season. Georgia under 30 percent. Third down conversions, third and 12 here. LSU has done nothing. Nada on offense. Jefferson from the goal line. Almost picked off again. It's going to be fourth down. Three, three and outs provided by this Bulldog defense. They had two def uh, offensive players in the same area, but I think he was trying to go to the tight end, D'Angelo Peterson, that time. And again, it was high. Peterson tipped the ball. I don't think he was trying to go to Russell Shepard. I don't think. I think he was going to the tight end. And the ball got tipped high. Brandon Boykin is back to return. Brad Wings punt. This one a little end over end, but a fair catch taken again at the 44-yard line. So in a game of field position, George is in really good shape right now. Wednesday on CBS, it's shake up the game time on Survivor. And it's the nerd versus the dominator in a head-to-head -head duel. New Survivor Wednesday, only CBS. Well, BCS standings, we've talked about that. There are three components to the BCS. Harris Interactive College Football Poll, 114 votes there. The Coaches Poll, 59 votes by coaches there. And then six computers, my favorite part of yeah, it Yeah, I'll let you explain the bottom one. Yeah, okay. I really love that part. <laughs> Here's the toss, right side. Hey, if you want to watch a good football player, you like offensive and defensive line play, watch Michael Brockers, number 90 all day. He and Benny Logan, if you talk to John Chavis, he said, I've had some great defensive tackles in my day at Tennessee. Albert Hainsworth, John Henderson, but I wouldn't trade them for Brockers and Logan. How about that? Those two guys were all pros in the NFL. These two are sophomores, and he wouldn't trade them. And when he said that, you and I just rolled our eyes like, are you kidding? And he meant it. Here's Thomas. First up the middle. Eric Reed. Well, if they're that good, they must be getting some good blocking inside from Jones, Gates, and Burnett. Because that went right up the gut of this defense. A nice cut to the outside, and he's to Eric Reed. Story of the game so far, the aggressive play calling by Georgia and their offensive line. Yeah. That's a matchup most people thought favored LSU, their defensive line. Will Friend is the offensive line coach for Mark Richt. First down, 10. Play action. Murray, under some pressure, had to sidearm it out into the flat for Thomas. And Barkevius Mingo had the pressure. See, but that's what Murray gives you. When you're calling plays, as Mike Bobo is, and you want to go play action on first down, you have to depend on your quarterback, if you're Mike Bobo right there, not to lose six or seven yards on first down. At least give me second and ten. And I watched Isaiah Crowell run on the field. He is limping when he runs on the field now. Aaron Murray has missed his last five. It's second down and ten. Crowell is back. Gets it. Little stutter step at the line. Nice run. Absolutely. Eric Reed, number one, made the tackle. First down play action. Come back. Follow Ogletree. Burnett gets a good block. Runs right off Burnett's block. Makes a very positive five-yard tough run. Well, they previously have reached the 21-yard line and the 17-yard line. Two drop potential touchdown passes. One field goal out of it and one miss from 45. Last two times they tried to isolate the tight end Charles on the linebacker. He's in the slot right to the right. Out of the spread on third down six. Right there. Let's see if we do it again. Blitz. Murray deep. Got it. It's Orson Charles. You that, called it. That's the matchup it looks like they like. 
Charles is kind of a blend receiver. Breaks out and enough time to come back in. Watch him, number seven, right side of the screen. Off coverage, breaks out, and comes right back in. Got to have offensive line to give you time to throw that one, and that one was accurate, and the back end caught. Brandon Taylor is the injured player. Strong safety. Well, they are continuing to give medical attention to Brandon Taylor. So we'll step aside. 33 years ago, our goal was simple. Build the best vehicles and once a year offer them with special savings. Today, it's an American tradition. Toyota-thon is back with great deals on the Toyotas you've been waiting for. Right now, get a low 0% APR financing on select new Tundras. And drive with peace of mind thanks to Toyota Care, a complimentary maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Others have tried to copy it, but in the end, there's only one Toyota-thon. The biggest and best sales event of the year is going on now. SEC fans, AT&T is giving you the chance to place your team at the top of Buzz Rankings. The more buzz you create for your school on social media, the higher your team climbs in the rankings. To check in and support your favorite school and get up to the minute scores and news, visit the live game tracker at CBSSports.com. You can also access AT&T Buzz Rankings at BuzzRankings.com. AT&T is the exclusive wireless partner of the Southeastern Conference. 3-0 Georgia scored on their opening drive, but it could have been oh so much more. Yeah, the Georgia fans are saying, stop showing us this stuff, okay? <laughs> one drop. This one was a touchdown for sure, an easy one. Drop in the sidelines could have been a first down and then a possible interception by Cummings on the overthrown ball. But first and 10, 13-yard line. How about this? This will be the 23rd play by the Georgia offense in the first quarter. Remember the West Virginia game early in the year. West Virginia ran 87 plays in that game. When they gained all that yard fence, Georgia's ahead of that pace. First down and 10 from the 13. Into the end zone. Aaron White. Touchdown Bulldogs. Likeable senior from Columbia, Missouri. Fifth year man. Here's the extra point attempt from Blair Walsh. Nifty little play here, high low. That's just the way you gotta design them. The tight end is here, he's gonna go deep, and the receiver's gonna come underneath to hold the coverage. So the tight end goes long, the receiver comes underneath, the linebacker bites, there's your throw. I'm sure Aaron Murray used his eyes to bring that linebacker up. And this one, they caught it. Who fills their holidays with sawdust? With quarter inch holes and blueprints for the coming year? Those of us with doers on our lists. And because it's always better to give than to guess, we can take these last few days of shopping and our holiday budgets a lot further. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. There's still time to give a new project or two. Pick up your Home Depot gift cards online or in store. Four channel anti-lock vented disc brakes. never know. They might just save the holidays. Season's best event from Cadillac. Take advantage of this exceptional offer on the exhilarating CTS Sports Sedan today. Where can you find singer Michael Bublé this weekend? Next on 60 Minutes! Yeah! We welcome you back to 
the Georgia Dome, the SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper. Who saw this coming? 10 nothing, and total domination thus far in the first quarter by Mark Richt and the Georgia Bulldogs. Brandon Bogate will kick off this time. Rotates with Blair Walsh. Last time they went for the onside kick. This time straight down the pipe and deep. And they will bring it out. It's Morris Claiborne. Fly down. Now, Gary, let's take a look at our Home Depot tools for success. A well-designed play allows the quarterback to read one guy and make up his mind. This time, it's Ryan Baker right there. That's who the quarterback is going to read. And if you're a quarterback, you can manipulate him with your eyes. Watch when the crossing route comes on. Ryan Baker moves up. That means the throw goes behind him. Well-designed play, and Aaron Murray did it perfectly. Aaron White. And the hold was on uh, LSU. Well, does LSU go back to what they believe they are, which is running power football? Can they run the ball? That was the story of the game against the front seven of Georgia. This is only the 10th play from offense so far for LSU. And they do. Spencer Ware out across the 10 near the 12. Sean Williams, number 36, makes the tackle. Final 20 seconds opening quarter. Jefferson yet to complete a pass. Ware now with two carries for six yards. Ford, one for three. See if we get this play called and run before the end of the quarter. We will not. Those fans in the red and black look pretty happy. That's the end of one. Georgia leads LSU 10 zip. We'll return to the Georgia Dome after this message and a word from your local station. Okay, look, when gas prices jump, you still gotta work. So suddenly you're cutting back on everything from family vacations to cell phone minutes. Well, here's a thought. How about cutting back on gas? Here's how. The Ford F-150. It gets 23 highway miles per gallon. That's the best. So you can get the job done and get a break at the pump. Yeah. Can you hear me now? This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. TV's number one new comedy, Two Broke Girls, Monday, only CBS. SEC Football, sponsored by Hyundai. In 1944, Bill Bowers heard that the bell from the USS Arizona was to be melted for scrap. Instead, he got it installed back at his alma mater and rang it himself the first time, starting a 50-year Wildcat tradition. And when the new student union opened in 2002, who rang the old bell in the new tower? Bill Bowers, age 99. Fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours, just buy another Hyundai. Are you ready for the next heating season? If you're using purchased steam, oil, or electricity for heat, you owe it to your business's bottom line to switch to clean natural gas from PGW. Save 50% or more on all your energy needs. Gain new business and show you care about the impact pass-through energy costs have on your customers. Save money. Buy American. Help the environment. Visit for your business at PGWorks.com to see why clean natural gas from PGW is the right choice for you. It's the one event, the one time, the best deals.
It's your Quality Plus Ford Store's year-end celebration. Get once-a-year deals on America's best-selling brand. Now you can get a new Ford Escape with no money down, no interest for five years, and 500 cash back. Or you can lease for just $179 a month. Plus, get the best fuel economy of any SUV in America. It's the year-end celebration. Going on now at your Quality Plus Ford Store. It's official. The Big B Bar Bear is on the boulevard. Number one volume Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealer in Philly, South Jersey, and Delaware, too. Because all we do is discount Dodges, Chryslers, and Jeeps cheap. Like Bar Bear's famous $129 a month gas and go. $129 a month. Now you know why business is boom, boom, booming at Bar Bear's. See for yourself at 1-800-BARBEAR.com. Why Bar Bear's on the boulevard is number one. Is Bar Bear the best? <laughs> Boy, I guess. Jefferson dropped, and he's dropped at the 11-yard line. Murray into the end zone through the hands. Oh, into the, oh, the another goal. one dropped. Wow! He did not make it. Well, here's a question for you. What do Western Kentucky and Georgia have in common in the 2011 season? The only teams to score touchdowns in the first quarter against the number one team in the country. Now second down and six at the LSU 12. Kenny Hilliard is the fullback now. And Michael Ford is the tailback. Option pitch. Ford doesn't get much blocking help. He does get out to the 16. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Jarvis Jones just pasted Jordan Jefferson on that play. Key so far. Offensive line for Georgia, aggressiveness by Georgia. You know, they're in the foot football game because they're playing a loose game. They're loose. So you can see LSU's a little tighter team. You know, LSU's been through the wars. Uh, you know, they were down 14 right. against Arkansas. I think they just settled down a little bit. A lot of football left for them. They got to believe they're a championship team, and champions just keep plugging along. They are looking for their first first down and now time is called yeah. by the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia leads it 10 zip time called Bulldogs. Leadership excellence performance. It's what Heisman and Aflac's all about. Ah! Aflac, an official partner of the Heisman Trophy. This new AT&T 4G LTE is fast. Mm -hmm. Hey, two tickets just opened up on the 50. Yep, about to go pick them up from Will Call. So 46 seconds ago. Did you guys hear that Chapman rolled his ankle? It's done. Get out there. So 12 seconds ago. Do you guys know how to post videos to Facebook? Do you guys know how to post videos to Facebook? Did you guys hear someone stole the, the other team's mascot? So 27 seconds ago. Stay a step ahead with 4G LTE with speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G. AT&T. We are visitors. Underdogs. Party crashers. Guests in a den of lions. But we will prevail. Because today, we are more than conquerors. At Enterprise Rent-A-Car, we're proud to be a family-owned business since 1957. It's why Enterprise can focus on doing things right for the long term. Let us show you what a family-owned business can do. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Tradition, honor, passion, and pride. The 112th Army-Navy Game, presented by USAA, next Saturday on CBS. Monday on CBS, to save these children, the 5-0 team will do anything, but first they'll have to find them. Don't miss a new episode of Hawaii 5 Monday only, CBS. And a reminder at halftime, Tracy Wolfson will take care of the particular responsibilities of the Dr. Pepper tuition throw. That's coming up at the half. Third and two. LSU has not achieved a first down yet in the game. Todd Grantham has put his big guys in, both Gaithers and Jenkins in the game, the two big nose tackles.
Right side, I don't think he got it. Looked like Bakari Rambo, number 18, made the stop. This is the biggest difference I've seen in my six years in the SEC is the size of this Georgia defense compared to where they used to be before. And you're right, it was Rambo that came up and made that play. I used to always feel Georgia was very active on defense, but smallish. Now they've gotten big bodies up there. And four three and outs forced by the Georgia defense. Brad Wing with his fourth punt. And in a game played on a short field, Georgia should have another one. This is a dandy punt, though. Wow. No fair catch called. Ron Brooks. Yeah, that, that was really questionable play by Boykin that time. Just for the of this, Georgia kind of went for the block. He had no help back there. The SEC championship game on CBS presented by Dr. Pepper. With Georgia leading 10-0, we'll continue after this word from your local station. Russell's brother arrives on the island. That's it. New Survivor, CBS Wednesday. This year, we wanted to be the best carolers in the neighborhood, so I hired the incomparable Beth Midler. Hello, here I am, singing loud, how I love my life. Out of my way, I'm here to stay in a one-horse open sleigh. Olay! At a time when it's easy to go overboard. I thought that went very well. Acura invites you to be smarter and oversave during the Season of Reason sales event. Take advantage of attractive offers on the 2012 Acura TL for well-qualified customers. Don't ever let them catch you. I didn't know you could play this game in slow motion. <laughs> Want to play for your McNuggets? Watch this. Ladies first. The simple joy of keeping it old school. Ow. And now share 20 crispy, juicy chicken McNuggets for just $4.99 or $50 for only $10.99. Hey, it works every time. <laughs> Hi, it's Ross Britton from The Breakfast Club at 98.1 WOGL. Celebrate the joy of sharing. Donate a new toy and make a child's holiday rock. Go to cbsphilly.com to find the drop-off location near you. Chris May and Susan Barnett, only on Eyewitness News. Our group is privileged to be in Washington, D.C. next week for the Army-Navy game presented by USAA. Next Saturday, 2.30 Eastern Time. And it will all begin with the Autotrader.com College Football Today Show next Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. When Georgia started off the game with five straight passes, you thought maybe they'd go with the West Virginia game plan. But since then, they've settled down eight runs and ten passes. Okay, so they've gotten more into their mix that they want to play. They just wanted to give notice to LSU early that will call anything. But now they've settled into what they want to be, balance. Word from the field, the play clock is uh, causing problems again. So the play clock will be kept on the field for the remainder of the first half. First down 10. Quick flip, near side. Malcolm Mitchell. Out to the 35-yard line, the true freshman. Well, this is fun. I did some good throw this across the field. Here's Tim Brando for an update presented by Chick-fil-A. All right, Vern, Gary, Houston was the only other undefeated team in college football until today. Case Keenum picked off here by Ronnie Thornton of Southern Mississippi. They blasted the Cougars today and claimed Patrick USA and cost Houston a BCS bowl bid, likely the Sugar. Back to you. All right, Tim, thank you. Now Murray. Second down and very short. Tavares King is the only wide receiver. He's top of the screen. Crowell is the running back. Looks like he's caught short of the first down. Stephon Francois made the tackle, number 23. He's another of that group of eight five-year seniors who watched the uh, SEC championship game 
Street closed back in 07. Marlon Brown in. Tavares King out. It's third and one. As bad as it seems for LSU, I mean, come on, they have, you know, what they've done on offense. 10 nothing. They get a stop here. I still think they're feeling good about themselves. One more score, though. We'll see. Orson Charles starts in motion. Now comes back left. He'll lead the play. And they take it right up the middle. Alexander Ogletree, number 46. The sophomore from Noonan, Georgia. This Georgia offensive line again. They've got three seniors on the offensive line. Glenn Jones and Anderson. Gates and Burnett in there. Well, the whole year, they've only started six different players. Dallas Lee was injured. He's the sixth. They've been the same group most of the year except for Lee. Dallas Lee broke a bone in his leg and it was thought he might be back for this one but uh, ruled out and Cordy Glenn number 71 he's a big timer he's going to go early in the draft first down and 10 Georgia leading 10 nothing play action blitz coming they got to Murray boy he turned to his right and he knew that the closet door was about to close they were trying to come back to the tight end on a throwback wheel route there was nobody to throw to. They were going to come across with Charles. Watch Charles come across. There was nobody to throw to the right. He wanted to come back. Charles was wide open on the play. But Loss of nine. Not enough time to throw it. Remember Brad Smelly had one of those, I think, one of those yes. back throws? Same play for Alabama. Draw play. That's Thomas. Fumble. Ball is loose, scramble, and who got it? Looks like Georgia recovered. Ben Jones, the center. Ben Jones, the senior, he's been playing for four years. Not an opposing guy, is he, no. when you meet him? But very effective center for this Georgia football team. Has one of the more unusual pregame habits you'll ever see. He comes out and practices, warms up barefoot. Third down and 14. Two wide right, one left. Four-man rush. Montgomery's coming from the near side. Tipped. And incomplete, Crowell and Ron Brooks diving for it, but it was uh, tipped a little too highly. Well, that time the pressure from the LSU front four forced Murray to come up in the pocket, and he tried to dump it off a little bit high. That's not a catchable ball. Those are the ones that usually you get tipped and get intercepted. He was fortunate there. That's going to bring on Drew Butler, who uh, boomed one 62 yards last time. And Odell Beckham Jr. is back at the 25. The right side of the screen is Matthew, number seven. He's going for a block. Oh, Butler nailed it. Beckham at the 13. Out of bounds well, near the a, 20. Could yep. be a late hit. They didn't call it. That's a 52-yard punt, seven on the return. Aaron Murray knew he had a guy open. Time call. see other full-size pickup trucks straight off the line that can do this? Because only one can. The Ram Power Wagon. Guts, glory, Ram.
John Hancock, the future is yours. Talk to your financial advisor or visit findtheanswers.com. When we decided to televise my sports talk show, I wanted to try something different. You're safe, little kittens. Mr. Eagle will take care of you. I'll tell you what, we're just going to do my sports show. Well, Georgia leads it 10-0 over LSU. And let's uh, bring the duck on now. Cue the duck. Half-like trivia question, which two SEC championship game MVPs went on to win the Heisman Trophy that season? Two of them. First down. Jordan Jefferson yet to complete a pass. He's 0 for 4. LSU yet to achieve a first down. They are 0 for 4. Ruben Randall has one-third of all the big plays for LSU this year of over 20 yards. Sometimes when you're struggling like this, instead of thinking plays, you think players. Do they go to Randall? Alfred Blue is the running back. And they'll give it to him on first down. He gets a couple. Oh, boy. This uh, Georgia defensive unit has excelled today. Well, because they're big up front, they've been able to allow their defensive backs to stay deep and take away the big play. They've been stopping the run with only seven guys. Well, Todd Grantham is saying first down is big, so is second down, and Georgia's winning those two downs. Well, Boykin, that's his third big play of the game, Brandon Boykin. He had the first play on the deep pass. He knocked down the pass to Ruben Randall on that one out route over there, or stop route, and now he just comes back and makes the play to stop it there for third and long. And here you go again, third and ten. Four three and outs so far for LSU. Let's find Jarvis Jones and see if he can get involved in this. He's, he's in the wild card spot right there. Number 29 with 13 and a half sacks this season. Jefferson. Five three and outs. Do they start to think about Jared Lee? Well, since the Alabama game, as you look at Jared Lee right there, when he tossed those two interceptions, it's been all Jordan Jefferson. You wonder if, and I talked to Les yesterday about this, has Jared Lee been practicing 50-50 like I saw before? He said no, but we do have a package for him. Fifth-year senior, story of uh, great purpose and resiliency. Gary thought he was the most valuable player in the first part of the season, and he's been relegated to purgatory the last four games. Oh, what a punt. Bobbled. Boykin coming left. My gracious. Brad Wing. We're seeing some punt here, aren't we, today? Yeah, if you're... <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. Australian rules football player in Melbourne for 15 years. Look at this punt. Bobbled by Boykin. Worst field position that uh, Georgia has had to start a drive. ago he wasn't worried about retirement he'd yet to hear of mutual funds IRAs or annuities back then he had something more important to do he wasn't focused on his future but fortunately somebody else was at USAA we provide retirement solutions for our military veterans and their families from investments to life insurance to health care options learn more with our free USAA retirement guide call 877-242-USAA I think I'm falling I think I'm falling I think I'm falling This is your moment For you. This is Zales, the diamond store Take up to an extra 15% off store-wide now through Tuesday Own the Blu-ray combo pack Holy Includes the Blu-ray for perfect picture and perfect sound What is this, a PF chain? A DVD And the bonus ultraviolet digital copy That lets you instantly stream through Flixster. It's going on! 
Buy the Blu-ray combo pack Tuesday. Tim Brando with a reminder coming up on the Geico Halftime Report. Spencer, Tony, Archie, and I will get you caught up on all of the action in the Big East as Cincinnati wins today against Connecticut, meaning that it's all but a formality that West Virginia will clinch the conference title and a BCS Bulver. Now back to the game, Bernie Gary. All right, Tim, thank you. Let's uh, revisit this punt, Gary. Well, it, a fair catch was called and muffed. And by rule, Steve Shaw just told us in the back, I had a question whether he could pick it up. Watch. He muffs it. Once he calls the fair catch, all he can do is recover it. Now, he came out across the line, but what happens is the ball goes back to where he first recovered it, so it'll start on the 13-yard line. That's why if you were watching it, it looked like 16. It's going to go back to the 13. And by far, the least favorable field position for a Georgia team. They've been starting most drives between the 40 and 50. I mean, there's so many great players that play for LSU, but Brad Wing might be one of the yeah. best, and he is a weapon for them. Isaiah Crowell is the tailback. Bruce Figgins, the fullback, and Aaron Murray for the day now, 8 of 17, 109 yards. Right side, Crowell, nothing. And I think it was Benny Logan that time inside. It was. Number See, 93. Much as you want to talk about Montgomery and Adams and Mingo and Claiborne and Matthew, these two guys inside, Brockers and Logue B, why they're so good up there and so hard to run the ball against. Second down, 10. Charles, the tight end, is tight to the left. Tavares King is split left. Draw well play. Third and long. Michael Brockers and Barkevius Mingo. Does it not feel like the LSU defense is getting their seat? Yes, legs here, yes, it, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. Georgia signals in their plays. They got three players doing it. One guy in a golf shirt. Can, does that mean hit it long? I think. <laughs> Or hit it straight. One in a yellow and one in a green or blue there. Third and nine. This is where Matthew makes his plays from this slot position. Missed the first attempt at the sack, got the second. Sam Montgomery, number 99. And they got so many players. You talk about Mingo, Adams, Brockers, Logan. Then it's Montgomery making the play. They come off the edge. When you're in the situation of third and long, I just don't know if any offensive line can match up. That time he beat Justin Anderson, number 79. Barkevius Mingo missed the first attempt at the and, sack. And number seven is going to field this punt. Yep. At the 50-yard line, he's lined up. Honey Badger, one of the great nicknames in college football. And, oh, another dandy. Matthew backs up, grabs it at the 38-yard line. Looks for a little blocking help. Gets it. Breaks the tackle. Cuts left. Avoids a teammate. Heads for the corner. He's done it again. Sure did. They will exploit it. Punt returns. Return coverage has been a weakness for Georgia all year. Remember the Florida game. Right. It has been quiet since then. But boy, a little leak was just popped there. We said number seven had his toes on the 50. It was a good punt. But look at the wall set up over here. Matthew just has to beat one guy. When he beats one guy, he's to the wall. Once he gets to the wall, he's tough to handle in the open field. He has great feeling of space. It's instinct. You can't teach it. 
key block in that 62 yard punt return Josh Johns and a footnote as Tyron Matthew carries it home. Josh Johns was one of the two players he and Jordan Jefferson suspended for four games for that parking lot fight last August. Drew Alamon with the extra point is up and good. The Honey Badger. I asked him if he had seen the video on YouTube. He said yes. John Chavis, his defensive coordinator, showed it to him. It's an apt nickname, isn't it? Tyron Matthew, the sophomore, with a punt return that puts LSU right back in it. Continue watching in any other room. Now lock in your price until 2013. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Boring toast. We're giving you a makeover at Sonic. How? Accessories. 100% pure beef patty, grilled onions, cheddar so in this year, hickory barbecue sauce highlights, and mmm, you look good. Or throw on sauteed portobello mushrooms, Swiss and mayo, and strut it when you've got it. You go, Texas toast. Get the bacon cheddar toaster melt and the mushroom Swiss toaster melt starting at $1.99 each. This is how you Sonic. Monday, Walden discovers dating two women at once can be dangerous. New two and a half men, CBS Monday. Tyron Matthews, 62 yard punt return. And it comes with 548. Josh Johns with a key block. And Gary, another look. Yeah, he peeked down twice to see he had room. Now remember, he put his toes at the 50 and he had to back up inside his own 40 to catch the ball. And then he got in space. Yesterday when I was out when the team practiced, but I know this is a kind of an old name to go back to. But Les is a Michigan guy. And I said, Les, who does Matthew remind you of? He says, I don't know. And I said, how about Anthony Carter, AC? Wow. And Les got a big smile on his face, and he goes, he's exactly like Anthony Carter. Everybody likes him on the team, and he's a ball of energy, and he makes big plays. Well, he had such an enormously significant start to the season. And then when they played at Tennessee, he got burned on two deep pass plays by Derrick Rogers. Then got suspended for one game and all but went into hibernation for about a month. But boy, he has erupted in the last two ball games, Arkansas and this afternoon. Brandon Boykin returned it. And a penalty on the play. Georgia. By their own doing, they played a good first quarter, but they could have had a lot more points. Now let's go to Tim Brando for an update presented by Napa Auto Parts. Houston opportunity in a BCS Bowl that was lost might be taken by TCU. The Horn Frogs walloping their opponent today, UNLV, 56 to 9. That's Wayman James carrying it in. If they crack the top 16 as a non-automatic qualifier, they could be Sugar Bowl bound. Back to you. All right, Tim. Thank you. Offside was the call. And so let's uh, do it again. Do it again. Yep. James Hairston, he took over the kickoff duties uh, a third of the way through the season. They weren't uh, getting any touchbacks at all. Brandon Smith is going to go back this way. Hairston will kick off again. 
We've got 542 to go before the half and LSU does not yet have a first down. But special teams have gotten them back into the ball game. Yeah, the punt by Wing, unbelievable. And then the punt return. Drew Alemon. I beg your pardon. Hairston. Too many 30s. They miss Brandon Smith. He gets out to the 27 yard line and is knocked out of bounds. And another flag. During the return, holding 27 of the receiving team. 10 yard penalty to the spot of the foul. First down. Well, this morning. Just out of curiosity, I looked up a definition of honey badger, right? And here's, here's what Wikipedia said. Has few natural predators due to its thick skin and ferocious defensive abilities. Seems to fit. Perfect. I'm wondering, I wonder if Georgia might open it up and spread it out like the first drive. And they are, yes. I, they clearly can't handle the pass rush on third and long. So why not throw more on early downs? It worked to start the game. Let's see if they can go back and get it jump started again. This ball still got to go back, doesn't it? Correction, the penalty will be enforced from the end of the run. Ten yards, first down. They are going to go shotgun and look, air it out, try to yep. get that tempo back. Bennett and King are wide right. Murray looks across the middle. Dropped with the 25. Orson Charles. Well, let's get the duck back on stage. And the answer to the Affleck trivia question, which was, which two SEC championship game MVPs went on to win the Heisman? Florida fans would remember Auburn fans as well. Danny Werfel in 96 Cam Newton last year. Murray eight of 18 for 109 yards. Steps up drills it got it caught by Tavares King. Gang tackles their old Simon number 24 was the first one there. King wide open on the play. When you're playing for LSU, you figure that front four is going to get him quick. He's got Simon again. King good route. Simon just gives up too much yardage. Actually, I think King thought he'd be closer than that, to yes. tell you the truth. But again, good protection. It looks like the more Georgia throws early in downs, the better they feel about it. Roughness number 22 of the defense. 15-yard penalty down the run. Automatic first down. And Ryan Baker actually took a cheap shot, not on the ball carrier. It was to another man. Watch right here. Yeah, That's where go. the shot came. Yep. It came inside on Carlton Thomas. Yep. Again, spread. You gotta, you gotta believe. Like Oklahoma State and West Virginia saying, well, that's how I'd play them. <laughs> I'm not running inside against those guys. First down 10 after the penalty. Murray, good protection. This one was tipped. Sure was. That was Mingo, I think, yep. got his hand on it. Kavius Mingo. Well, those of us who collect outstanding names in ecstasy in this game because we've got Barkevius Mingo on one side and Bakari Rambo on the other. I like that. You like him? He's yeah. trying to go to the running back that time. He's a good player. Second down. Remember second long last time they ran the ball. Well, no. I think John Chavis remembered it too. Kevin Minter number 46 with the tackle. Third and ten. Spot. 
Can that front three and a blitzing edge rusher make a play? Josh Downs is at the nose position now. Number 77. Mingo in a three-point stance as well. Third and ten, a three-point margin. Murray, they sail right by him, goes deep left side to Boris King. And Morris Claiborne, and Claiborne played it perfectly. He did. That was good hand-to-hand -hand combat, and the officials let him play. This ball was up for grabs. King and Claiborne, two veterans of this league, knew this ball was up, and they fought for it. And Claiborne doesn't let King get back to the ball. Good defense right there. And so it's Drew Butler, the punter, Tyron Matthew, the punt returner. Yeah, that's scary, isn't it? Whew. Matthew. Nothing doing this time. Blake Saylors down there to make the tackle. Last week in a 14-7 game, this was Tyron Matthew against Arkansas. 92 yards, that tied it up. And just a few moments ago, 62 yards for Matthew to get LSU on the board. And they still, they being the Tigers, do not have a first down in this game. Take the draw, Jefferson. Well, Lateral to go about that. Yep. Wow. As he was going down, the he under pitched it to where? Yeah, he underhanded it to where? John Jenkins was in Jefferson's lap. One of the things that you talk to the coaches about is once you get the quarterback, you still got to tackle this big quarterback. Well, or tackle a running back. My gracious. Ogletree. Well, one more look at the last play. Jenkins has him. Jenkins is like 350 pounds. And at the last second, tosses it a lateral back to where? Alec Ogletree, by the way, inside linebacker, has led Georgia in tackles the last three games. He's really coming into his own. Remember, he got hurt early in that Boise State game. Not to beat the point to death, but LSU still doesn't have a first down. It's third and one. Stampley and Ware. Toss, Ware. They still do not have a first down. Alec Ogletree. There he is. Taking on strong up top. You can see the front three take on the blocks and keep it clean for the linebackers. Georgia will get the ball to start the second half. That was a huge stop for them. They'll get it here. And then they'll get it to start the second half. Jefferson remains on the field. 1.51 to go and time called. LSU, that is their first, so two remain. Can you imagine LSU's gone this deep in the ball game without a first down? There are over half a million apps and counting on the iPhone. Apps that can take you anywhere and do anything. You might say there's no limit to what this amazing device can do. So the question to ask is, why would anyone want to limit the iPhone? We don't. Truly unlimited data for your iPhone, only from Sprint. Its birth was the genesis of a journey in greatness. Countless All-Americans, 
and four Heisman winners have flourished on its fields. Its victor has bested opponents for nine national titles and the last five BCS championships. It is, and always will be, the first of its kind. The 2011 SEC Football Championship, a 20-year tradition. Monday, to save these children. They could be anywhere on the island. 5-0 will have to find them. I'm running out of time. One fifty-one to go first half. The 20th SEC Championship game presented by Dr. Pepper. And at the half, we'll go across the field for the Geico Halftime Report. Tim and his cohorts. I like the fact that Georgia didn't take the time out there. They've got two in their pocket. Till a minute 50, that's plenty of time. They don't want to give the ball back to LSU either. Plenty of time to put a field goal on the board at least. Sixth punt for Brad Wing. Boykins back. This one not as effective as some of the previous. Oh, we all. Pardon me. That's got, pretty good. Got a good bounce out of it. Yes, he did. Another 50-yard punt. Nothing on the return. Mingo downfield to make the tackle. Well, this will be very interesting here. What will Georgia dial up? They obviously want to get out of the half, get it into field goal position. Will Mike Bobo go spread? Will he go back to his play-action pass game, drifting the fullbacks and the tight ends? He's clearly that defensive line for LSU is making their presence felt now. Mm -hmm. First down, 10. It's spread. And three receivers near side. Four down for LSU. Murray. Crowell. Lost yardage. Michael Brockers with the tackle. Second down and 13. And off Crowell, Michael Brockers. Well, Les Miles will take a timeout now. And he did. I yep. tell you, those two tackles, you know, it, it, there's just so many defensive players to talk about for this LSU team. You know, there, there are some great defenses. You know, Alabama, great defense. Georgia, great defense. But I don't know if I've seen a deeper defense. I mean, they play mm -hmm. like, you know, about 11, 20 guys on defense. Well, let's take another look at uh, Tyron Matthews 62 yard punt return just at the end of the return. Here's Matthew. Whoa. Whoa. Did and that he... ball go across the line? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it looked like he might have tossed it to the line judge as or yeah. before he was crossing the line. Well, I tell you, I never saw that. Now, from that look, you can't tell, but the no. other look, that's an incredible play right there. What's the statute of limitations? It's over once the next snap happens. Yeah. The replay official might want to have a mulligan on this one, though. It's one thing us missing it. Yep. Hmm. Third down, 14. Murray back. Murray deep. He's got a man down there. Oh, and it's tipped play. away by Farrell Simon. Intended for Malcolm Mitchell. Simon had been beaten a few times in this game, but this time his ball skills saved the day. Mitchell is the home run threat for Georgia. The true freshman balls up. Now watch Simon stay with it. Doesn't panic and knocks it down. He's their number three corner. Yes, that's right. Look at that ball skills. Drew Butler on to punt. Tyron Matthew to return it. Four punts so far. This is number five, and you saw he's averaging 55 yards. On one hop. 
Matthew out of bounds. 47 seconds remaining. LSU has one timeout left. Following our postgame show on CBS, Gary Danielson discusses this game and answers your questions live. From the SEC on CBS, Cruiser, watch the fifth quarter at cbsports.com slash Gary. Our last one of the year. You're going to miss the bus. Yes, of course. Who wouldn't? 47 seconds left. Timeout still for LSU. No first downs in the first half. How about that? That is extraordinary. Jefferson. Deep for Russell Shepard. It's incomplete. So he's now two for eight. And, and one of them was a six-inch pass. Yeah. That little, uh, we thought it was a lateral. Saw Jarrett Lee, no action. Thought he might get in last week once the game was secured. And effectively, he was put in for mop-up duty. Second down, eight. Ruben Randall, so quiet. It's hard to believe. One of the best receivers in this league. Top of the screen. Jefferson chased. Oh, that'll be intentional. Yes, it will. Ending. Yep. Alec Ogletree got there. Boy, Ogletree, Jones, Washington from the edge has given these tackles problems. This time, Ogletree feels the protection going the other way, and can I call it a key blitz? If you're not manned up by anybody, you just come for the quarterback. Well, we'll leave. Take care of the call. Let's check in with Tracy. Well, guys, on the defensive side for Georgia, starting linebacker Michael Gilliard is out with a right ankle injury. He remains on the sideline with crutches, guys. All right. Thank you, Trace. It's the spot of the foul. Lost him down. Third down. Now Georgia, after this play, can use their timeout. Go for the return or the block. Total yards for LSU in the first half. Total eight. Eight. Third and 27. Alfred Blue. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, quick timeout by Mark Rick that time. Christian Robinson, number 45, with this time. Well, that's as good a half of I've seen of defense all year. Yep. Well, we had a heck of a start to our NCAA basketball season on our road to the Final Four. Next Saturday, Washington takes on number three, Duke, from Madison Square Garden. Iron Eagle, I believe, is on the call with Clark Kellogg next Saturday from the Garden as the Blue Devils host the Huskies. In reference to that game earlier, Kentucky held off North Carolina 73-72 this afternoon. Look at this. Look at that. Well, you know, it's not just him, though. No. Yeah. I mean, they can't run the ball. No, no, no. They're not running options. They can't pass protect. I mean, you know, they, Jared Lee has a little quicker release. It might be a different changeup, but they've committed to Jefferson. There's Wing, and Wing is down. There is a flag back at the... Uh, point of the punt and he walked up and put his chest Damian Swan number five looks like he came through yep now if it's a personal foul to be an automatic first down that's what they're discussing is it a personal foul for a first down or is it running into the kicker? So that little exchange brings to mind the uh, celebration earlier this season when Wing became the first player judged to be taunting as he went into the end zone and his touchdown run 50 some yards was negated because of the taunting call. Earned a degree of instant notoriety. 
since then I mean he's he is as good a punter I think as you'll see in the country. And the discussion with Matt Austin continues. Remember the play against Florida. Here's the call. Running into the kicker. Defense number five. A penalty's declined. First out. Now we'll just revisit it just for the fun of it. Yeah, we're all happy that one of these calls didn't change the outcome of a game so far. So far. <laughs> and the little gesture back over his shoulder, according to the rule instituted this year, was judged to be correctly called taunting, no touchdown. So Les Miles took the play because it would not have been a first down. It wasn't a personal foul. So he took the play, and I'm sure Georgia will just take a knee. Aaron Murray. Yes. LSU's got to feel good about themselves. I mean, you put that type of first half together, and you're down three points. Yep. Honey Badger had a 62 yard punt return. LSU's offense accounted for Jarrett Lee's number 12 yards. 12. And it's 10 7, Georgia leading LSU. Let's go down to Tracy, who's with Les Miles. Coach, you said earlier today we just need to play our game offensively, and you haven't been able to do that. Why? Uh, they're coming after us. It's, uh, it's they're giving us an opportunity to throw the football. We're going to have to do that. Was it a lack of focus at all early on? No, no. They had a, they had a great plan. They, 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 had a, they started extremely well defensively. We just have to settle down and, and do the things we know we can do. Could we see Jarrett Lee in the second half? Very possible. Thanks a lot. Vern? Thank you, Tracy. That's the end of the first half with the score 10-7. We'll be back with the Dr. Pepper tuition throw after this message from your local station. the Georgia Dome, the 20th annual SEC Championship. Just a moment ago, Tracy Wilson with Mark Rick. Coach, a tremendous job by your defense in that first half. You didn't allow a first down. What gave them so much trouble? What gave LSU trouble? Well, I mean, we're a good football team, and they are too. They're a championship caliber football team, and I know they're going to come out and fight with all their heart, and so are we. And uh, we'll just see what happens. But defensively, what did you do to confuse them? Well, I don't think there's any confusion going on. Both teams know what they're doing. We didn't do anything special. They're not doing anything different. They're just we're just playing football. What did you tell your team in the locker room with the lead against the number one team in the country and 30 minutes left to play? Well, like we always do, you know, you we get after them for 30 and then we try to finish it in the second 30. That's how we try to do it at Georgia. Thanks a lot, Vern. All right, Tracy, James Hairston will kick off. There's Jordan Jefferson. Ineffective in the first half as LSU still looking for its first first down. That is a staggering note to this game. Hairston will kick off Brandon Smith for Georgia as they won the toss to open the game and deferred the option, thus are going to return the kickoff to open the third quarter. This one will be returned by Smith. Ten. And brought down. Struggle continues here near the 16. I, I, in all my life, I never expected to see an LSU team that is struggling to make a first down. I, I didn't either. What do you think they'll change, if anything? Well, I think Mark Rick was right. Tracy was pressing them on what they, how they tricked him. It's not been tricking. They've been 
beating the blocks. Right. They've been aggressive on offense. They've been tackling strong. Just Georgia outplayed LSU in the first half. Now, it could have been worse on offense. Georgia could have scored a couple more times, and it could have been worse on defense because that touchdown could have been called no touchdown. The Tyron Matthew punt Absolutely. Returns. Yep. Aaron Murray, Tavares King is in motion. Now sets up to block. And they come near side. The tackle is made on Carlton Thomas, and it is worth looking again at the end of the punt return. Tyron Matthew, did he toss the ball to the official before he crossed All right, the goal line? Let's fess up here. We did not get this look until later, after the field goal, the extra point was kicked, okay? We're at an angle. It looked to us like he scored. The replay official does have the option of stopping it if it's close and asking for more views. Now, that's what should have happened on the play. It was close enough to stop it before the extra point was kicked and take a couple more looks at it. That did not happen, and so the score stands. Not to, not to uh, state that it definitely would have been overturned, but it was certainly worthy of a look. Third down. Murray with two receivers to the left, one wide right. And Carlton Thomas in the backfield. He'll run. And he will be, oh, there's a fumble. Matthew is on it. Did he recover it? Did the ball come out? Yes. I, I thought I saw him reach for his beanbag. He's going to try to dive for the first down, and it does. That was his knee down. One more look. Matthew is the recipient of this one. Mingo is the one who calls it, causes it, and yes, that is a clean call and great field position for LSU. And that is the first turnover of the ball game as Mingo yep. hit Murray and Tyron Matthew recovered. LSU still looking for this. this I just Incredible. am astounded when I see this. Punt, 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 and punt. And yet they only trail yeah, 10 seconds. Georgia doesn't have the right look out there. I think they got 12 guys on the field. I think they have 12 out there and did not get the call in time, and that'll be a penalty. One more explanation on the Tyron Matthew call, Vern. I spent a lot of time at halftime. Illegal substitution on the defense, 12 men in the formation. Five-yard penalty. First Honest to God, this is like the tuck rule for Tom Brady and the whole thing. That ball could have also been called a forward pass mm. and brought back as a penalty. There's a lot of conversation going about that. I heard the replay official tell someone that if they'd have had that view earlier, of course, they could have asked for it, they would have called it no touchdown. First down five after the penalty. Jefferson... Ruben Randall spins and he has a first down. That is the first first down for the Tigers in the ball game. The ball spotted at the 15 yard line. I've seen LSU practice a lot. They run an option pass. They haven't done it this year yet. I wonder if they'll try something tricky to get it in the end zone. Kenny Hilliard is the tailback, and he is well back. Draw play Hilliard. He comes left. Breaks a tackle. Stiff arm. Touchdown. Louisiana State University. They didn't need any trickery, did they? No. At all. So the fumble, substitution, penalty, and then Hilliard, the freshman. He just followed the big guard in front of him. Number 74, Josh Williford. Go one direction and come back with the kick out. Downhill. 
Drew Alamon with the extra point. It is up and it is good. And Louisiana State has the lead. Well, first the fumble. Yep, trying to get a first down. Aaron Murray, he does it effectively with his legs. But then after the penalty for 12 men on the field, they throw the slant pass and they come running downhill with power football. LSU has the lead with, what, two first downs in the game. This SEC Championship Diamond Moment is presented by K Jewelers. In the 2005 SEC Championship, Georgia shocked the heavily favored Tigers of LSU. It was Dogs quarterback DJ Shockley who did most of the damage, throwing for a pair of first quarter touchdowns and then adding another on the ground before halftime. Tim Jennings pick six in the fourth was the icing on the cake as Georgia celebrated its second SEC Championship in four years. Boring toast. We're giving you a makeover at Sonic. How? Accessories. 100% pure beef patty, grilled onions, cheddar so in this year, hickory barbecue sauce highlights, and mmm, you look good. Or throw on sauteed portobello mushrooms, Swiss and mayo, and strut it when you've got it. You go, Texas toast. Get the bacon cheddar toaster melt and the mushroom Swiss toaster melt starting at $1.99 each. This is How You Sonic. shocked how much data you use in a month. Email, status updates, finding your way, uploading photos, downloading an app, an app, and another app. Kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, all stacking up until you reach your limit. And what happens if you go over? With Sprint, you don't have to worry. Only Sprint offers truly unlimited data. doesn't have to slow you down. With better car replacement, available only with Liberty Mutual Auto Insurance, if your car is totaled, we give you the money for a car one model year newer. To learn more, visit us today. Responsibility. What's your policy? Tyron Matthew on the left recovered the fumble of Aaron Murray when Murray was hit by Barkevius Mingo. One first down, and then the touchdown run. Matthew against Arkansas. Had eight tackles, two forced fumbles, one recovered fumble, and a 92-yard punt return. Today he's got a punt return and one recovered fumble. Think he knows where the ball is? What, what, what have you done for me lately? Exactly. Yeah. Hairston kicks off. Boykin this time, number two, is back in his career. Four kickoff returns for touchdowns, but this will not be one of them. Jarvis Landry, we have seen him make special teams tackles all year long. Yeah. Key block, watch this. Chase Clement, Melo Herrera. How is that guy going to block that guy to make a touchdown? Watch. You delay just a little bit, wrap him around, and fit. How about that? That's the delayed counter tray that people have been running since Joe Gibbs. Yes. Kenny Hilliard, freshman. Listed on the depth chart as the number four tailback. All right, now all these young receivers from Georgia. And I had it all going their way. Now the champion, LSU, has countered. Aaron Murray under pressure, severe pressure. And he one hops it to Orson Charles. That was Kendrick Adams, number 94. Yep. Staying at home, understanding that we don't think they can run well against us. Your assignment is to make sure the quarterback hands off the ball. He did his assignment well. <laughs> Didi did. Field for the remainder of the game. Okay, so that means the back judge will now keep the play clock for the remainder of the game. The back judge will put his hand up in the air when there's 10 seconds to go. That's him, back judge. When there's 10 seconds on the clock, he will put his hand up in the air. It's not, it's not too tough for the quarterback. That's Stephen Patrick is the back judge. 
he can get his watch working. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we play clock and the watch doesn't work. We got a problem. Yeah, we do. He's pressing a lot of buttons over there, isn't he? He's still working yes, on it. Yes, he is. On the He's 40. still trying to get it. To you. <laughs> See, you buy those that do too many things. I have one of those. You know, you got the Dubs everything. Murray for the day, 10 of 23. Five drop passes is the key one. We had this rung up with zero first downs. By the yes. time we got it up, they had two and a touchdown. And Ty Matthew again. And a problem with the game clock. Stephen Patrick, I think, got his watch fixed. I think. Remember? The play clock, correction, the game clock switch in the sideline is inoperable. So it's the game clock now. That's why he's pressing all those buttons. He's getting it to 1045. Well, the Georgia offensive line that was dominating early in the game have kind of been under siege mm -hmm. lately. Don't, remember we said it looks like LSU got their sea legs? The clock was at 12 minutes and 42 seconds. 12.42. That's the mistake. All right, that's been reset. Reminds me of an old Timex commercial when we were young. Takes a licking and... Keeps on ticking. That's not the case here. So 12:42 to go. By the way, LSU now for the year plus 20 turnovers. That fumble recovery by Matthew. 13th fumble recovery of the year. Matthew incomplete. Intended for Tavares King at the 35. Murray said he got hit in the face as he let that ball go, but he has been under pressure, got off quickly, kind of got LSU off balance with their game plan, but since then, it's a good thing he's athletic because if he wasn't, he'd be taking a beating. The last one was a play action pass. He got hit in the head right there, and he said, you know, they call that. You can call that when they swap me in the head. And the game clock did not move on that play, so interesting. And Matt Austin has signaled for play to begin. Murray under pressure. Got him at the 20, it'll be fourth down. And it almost looked like the same play, didn't it? And the clock still did not move. Nobody open. This time the LSU secondary drops back into a zone look. Actually, it was almost a Tampa 2, meaning two deep safeties, and the middle linebacker took away the middle of the field. And I think it was Benny Logan that came after his pass rush to clean up on the quarterback. Fourth and three. These guys are awful good, LSU, giving them too many chances. Butler. Matthew moves up, grabs it at the 36. Watch out. Now he'll start. Oh, stutter step. He's still going. Oh, my gracious. You know all those Heisman polls? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we might have somebody coming from the outside here. This is incredible. I mean, he got tripped by his shoelace. The last guy. Look at that. Costa Bablis, number 48, got him, or we would have had... Another punt return for a touchdown. Holy 
cow. My goodness. Special teams. Michael Ford, number 42. John Jenkins, number six, the nose tackle made the stop. I'll bet that's the last one they punt to him. I'll bet they, I don't care if you get a 20 yard punt, yeah. right? The, the Georgia defense is stunned, not because they're tired, they're just stunned. They had such a good first half, and now they come out here in the second half, and two drives start inside the 20 yard line. Let's Hilliard. First down. First and goal, LSU. This is the zone read play. You have to stay honest with the running quarterback. Watch over here. He'll have to stay home. One guy coming outside. It was Aubrey Jones was playing the quarterback, and that made him soft inside. Matthew, as a senior, had two visits to major universities, Tennessee and Alabama. Neither offered him a scholarship. And then at the last minute, LSU said, why don't you come here? Copeland, here's Jefferson, drills it in the end zone. Caught, touchdown. Odell Beckham Jr. That's for four yards. Tough to stop, one-on-one -on -one out there. It's a lowly position, a good low throw to the outside. And Beckham matched up, gets a little bit of pressure to the outside. And did it touch the ground? They need to replay that one quickly. Did it touch the, they didn't get it off. No. They stopped it. They did stop it that time. Yeah. They stopped it. It was under further review. Odell Beckham Jr. You know, that, that is a rule that the college football is going to have to look at. All scoring plays like the NFL should take a little bit of time. It's such a big play. Buzz them to let them go with the extra point. Now, did the ball skip off the ground? Ball looked like it was real. That ball could have scraped off the grass. That one wasn't clear enough for me nope. to change it. Michael Taylor, the line judge, with perfect position to view the play. I thought it looked like it went through his hands. That one wasn't clean enough for me to change the call. Let's look at this one. This is the one we saw. Linesman's in the way, doing his job. Yeah. Okay, how about this look? Well, that ball hit the ground. I think that ball hit the ground. Yes. His right hand came off the football. That ball hit the ground. There it is. This one will be coming back. Remember, that was a first down play. After review, replay shows the receiver did not catch the ball. Therefore, the ruling is an incomplete pass. It'll be second and goal on the four yard line. The game clock is at 10.43. 10.43. That's a look of disbelief, Odell Beckham Jr., but that that uh, last yes. view of it. It was our first look and our last look. Right. So it's second down play. Hilliard's back in the game. He's their power guy now. Copeland is the fullback and Kenny Hilliard. You know, and, and just think of all the possibilities. You still got Jefferson running the option, too. Clement, the tight end, tight right. Power. Hilliard bounces off one, stiff arm, driving. Flag is down. Yep. There is a touchdown call. 
It's going to be face mask, and they'll decline that one. How about this? True freshman really didn't get his chance to play until Spencer Ware was suspended. Gets the straight arm. There you see the face mask, but he still scores. Kenny Hilliard, Uncle Dalton, the second all-time rusher in LSU history. On the play, personal foul, face mask, 36 of the defense. We have a touchdown. That foul will be enforced on the kickoff. Foul is called on Sean Williams. You heard that. That'll be a 15-yard advance on the kickoff. Drew Alemon for the extra point. Tis good. Who do you think's breathing easier right now, Vern, as this second half got started with this punt return first? The LSU fans or the Alabama fans? Mm. They're <laughs> rooting for LSU. Yes. That was an incredible punt return. His second of the game set it up. First down pass wasn't there, and they powered it in again with Hilliard. And LSU has owned the third quarter. They're up 21-10. spent with you has been a gift. So here's a gift for our new life together. With over 165 years of experience, New York Life can help ensure your loved ones are always taken care of. It's the most selfless gift you can give. Look, it's okay to take the occasional gamble, as long as it's something like switching from boxers to briefs. But you never roll the dice on your truck. So go with the short thing, Ford F-150. J.D. Power & Associates just gave F-150 their highest award for initial quality. Add to that the best mix of torque and fuel economy you get with its EcoBoost engine and your money, baby. This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. John Hancock Mutual Funds. Visit jhfunds.com. The SEC Championship Game on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper, is sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Sonic. New Year's Eve. And by Bud Light. Back at the Georgia Dome, this is uh, the offensive huddle. As LSU got a punt return for a touchdown in the second quarter to cut the margin to 10-7. And then a quick fumble recovery and a touchdown followed by a punt return and a touchdown and they're up 21-10. You know, I could just imagine Les went into the locker room and said, all right, let's, you know, stop him, get the ball back on a punt, and get a drive. Went over to Jared Lee and said, all right, now be ready. We may need you, okay? Get your mind in the game. And all of a sudden, it's yeah, two touchdowns. That's right. And after the penalty, the kickoff will come from the 45. James Hairston will kick it deep to Boykin. Touchback. Now let's go to Tim Brando for this update presented by Chick-fil-A. All right, Vern. Well, while the Honey Badger is putting on a show here, Robert Griffin, a real Heisman candidate for this year, is doing a number on Texas. Four touchdowns, two passing, two rushing. This one 39 yards to Terrence Williams. Baylor seeking its first nine-win season since 1986. 
and RG3 is looking good. Oh, but the Honey Badger is clearly the leader in the clubhouse for hype next season, fellas. Back to you. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Well, as they say, we have a fluid situation as far as the Heisman is concerned. Yes, sir. 21-10, toss. This is Thomas, number 30. Nothing. Kevin Minter with the stop. We talked about the way LSU can make a run at you. Here's the proof. They have that explosive players all over the field. I know you may make some plays against them, but sooner or later, their 11, 15, 18 defensive players will find a way to make a play. And Georgia tonight becomes the eighth opponent ranked inside the top 25 at the time of the game. Oh, their resume is an incredible it resume. It sure is. Second down. And again, a reminder that the uh, time of the game and the play clock are both being kept on the field. Second down. Murray. Oh, that could be a little bit too much there by Kevin Minner. He got physical inside on the tight. In. And the flag thrown. They're trying to be physical with the tight over there. And he grabbed him. That was a pretty easy call. And there's a flag in the backfield. So. We have two fouls on the play. Holding 72 offense. Pass interference. Defense number 46. Those fouls offset. Replay second down. And let's check in with Tracy Wilson. Well, guys, we know how fiery Georgia defensive coordinator Todd Grantham can be. Well, you can only imagine what he was like after that second touchdown of the half. He's slamming the dry erase board, getting on his players, specifically Jarvis Jones. And, guys, he's even sporting a bloody lip. Wow. Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get around there. <laughs> Well, you know, what he's got to do is not get his defense feeling sorry for themselves. That's the tendency is like, hey, come on, offense. You put us in a bad position. He's got to convince them we got to finish this game. There's that. There's the lip. <laughs> Second down 10. Murray from the backside. Watch out. It was the Badger. Badger got there first. And Montgomery cleaned it up. You've used these bunch formations. You always have to know where the closest blitzer is. And that time, oh, that was just a fan that time by Isaiah Crowell. Quarterback thought number seven was picked up. Isaiah Crowell did not do a job on blitz protection. Another reason why he can't get a lot of snaps because he doesn't pick up the blitz as well. Third and seven. They got, they got problems on offense now for Georgia. Lost Carlton Thomas now. Don't have Richard Samuel. Isaiah Crowell's not sure who to block. Murray goes left. He's got a man at the 30. That might be enough to move it. Tavares King will check the spot now. Morris Claiborne defending. That will be a first down. One on one, King against Claiborne, gets inside of him, nice throw, nice catch. One of the things, Vern, that LSU does now, because they're so good up front with their front seven, is the safeties are playing very deep. Whether it's Taylor or Reed, sometimes they're almost 25 yards deep at the snap. Whistle and a timeout called by LSU before the snap. They're timeout just saying LSU. we don't want the first you time out of the half. to get a big play on us. We're going to play 10 on 11 and keep one guy real deep. Number one team in the country, LSU leads 21-10. Dear NFL football, do you know what love is? 
Love is turning your pickup truck into a pirate ship. Love is cold Bud Light on a crisp afternoon. It's turning a parking space into a party space. Love is loving that every Sunday is our Sunday. Bud Light, proud to be the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. Because love is a beautiful thing. 33 years ago, we had a simple idea. Make the best vehicles in America, and once a year, offer them with special savings. Today, it's a phenomenon. Toyota-thon is back, and it's the one place to see the reinvented 2012 Camry. With its available 268 horsepower, it's no wonder Camry has been chosen as the official pace car for the 2012 Daytona 500. Others have tried to copy it, but in the end, there's only one Toyota-thon. The biggest and best sales event of the year is going on now. Each one of us is our own boss. And no matter where you are in life, ask your financial professional how Lincoln Financial can help you take charge of your future. Search for a missing family. Where are they? Exposes one man's secret. A missing daddy is a coke dealer. A new CSI Miami CBS Sunday. 21-10 LSU time. Matthew has been the star so far this afternoon for the LSU defense, but Eric Reed has been a key contributor all season as well. He's the focus of Sonic celebrating creativity in the SEC. Here's Tracy. Vern, today we celebrate LSU safety Eric Reed, who grew up 15 minutes from the campus of LSU. He attended his first game at the age of two and dreamed of playing for the Tigers. Reed is responsible for one of the plays of the year, the interception at the one-yard line against Alabama. Following that game, he walked into his economics class and got a standing O. Reed comes from good genes. His father, Eric Reed Sr., won a national championship for the Tigers in the 110-meter hurdles and is a member of the LSU Athletic Hall of Fame. His mother, Sharon, though, was the football player. She played tight end and defensive end for the now-defunct Baton Rouge Wildcats, an independent women's football league team. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to say I could shut it down, but uh, I don't know. She's pretty fast. I guess I get some of my genes from her, so uh, I'd have to take it serious. Excellent. Thank you, Tracy. Sonic celebrates creativity. Eric Reed with one of the biggest plays of the season for the LSU Tigers. Play fake, Murray. Big hand in his face. He goes deep for Tavares King, and Simon is there to pick it off. Farrell Simon has the interception. Second turnover of the third quarter. See, that's what I'm talking about. What separates LSU? Matthew goes off the field. So what does Bobo say? I'm going to go after their third corner, number 24, Simon, down here. Okay, let's see if their backup can keep us from a big play. Not a great route. It was supposed to be an out and up. Didn't sell it, and Simon stays with it and makes the interception. Depth, depth all over the field. The only two teams I've seen, I've seen doing college football, even on TV, that have enough corners are Alabama and LSU. They both have three legitimate corners. Option, there's the pitch. Right side to Michael Ford. He's the fastest of the running backs for LSU. Now let's uh, check in again with Tyron Matthew after the interception. <laughs> They were uh, they were treating his uh, lower back. Yeah, it was the small of his back. Right. So he got on the uh, on the bike for a while. Now a guy like that would say, "I should have been out there. That was mine." Right. Kenny Hilliard is the tailback now. Cross to Hilliard. Good defense by Georgia. Garrison Smith, number 56, seven tackles last week against Georgia Tech. As he played almost the entire game, uh, game D'Angelo Tyson, the normal starter, was injured. Third and two. Third down conversion, 0 for 7. Usually that's a bad sign.
Jefferson will keep it. Had a 48-yard touchdown run last week against Arkansas. Gets a first down here. First third down conversion of the game. Yeah, this was quarterback ISO. This was no reading or anything like that. This was just follow the fullback with your quarterback. Follow number 44. Follow number 74. Two good guys to follow. 6.48 to go, third quarter. We have been informed that the uh, clock problems have been solved. Spencer Ware is back in. Georgia starting to get aggressive, blitzing. Randall, near side. Well, let's go to Tim Brando for this Heisman watch presented by Nissan. All right, Vern, we already touched on it, but Houston's all-time passing yards leader in the NCAA, Case Keenum, had a rough day in the Conference USA Championship, picked off here by Ronnie Thornton. They wound up losing the game. Kellen Moore of Boise State is already underway and up 21 to nothing in the second on New Mexico. And Monty Ball with his 34 touchdowns, five short of Barry Sanders' record, playing Michigan State in the Big Ten title game tonight. Back to you. All right, Tim, thank you. Second down and one here. And, of course, Trent Richardson has the week off. Michael Ford. Looks like he's got enough for the first. Sean Williams with the tackle. And the chain will be moved. 21-10. Georgia's defense was just brilliant in the first half. And the team got out to a 10-0 lead. Matthew with a 62-yard punt return made it 10-7. That's where we were at the half. Georgia's getting more and more aggressive, sneaking up, trying to stop this drive. So Steve Craig Thorpe or Greg Stradrawa try to get a deep one. Draw play, blue. First down at the 29. All those plays that they stopped for no gain in the first half. That offensive line for LSU is starting to impose their will. Will Blackwell follow the fullback again. Did a good job. Number 60. Well, Copeland, the fullback, was a high school defensive nose tackle. He weighs 280, number 44. Now Spencer Ware is lined up as the fullback. Play action. Jefferson deep. Man for man. It's overthrown. Well, that was one play off. Yeah. You could almost see it. They were sneaking up their safeties, trying to get the eighth man in the box. No safety in the middle of the field, and that ball was thrown where it should have been, but not accurately enough. Good coverage. Now they got their two big tight ends. It's like having four tackles in the game. Clement and Joseph are both in. Two extra tackles right here. Out of the spread, blitz. Blue goes right. Stiff right arm. Right around right in the corner. First down at the nine-yard line. See, that's how they got the edge. Put those two big guys out there. It's a little bit of the way the style that Alabama uses their tight ends. You gain the edge with big, strong, tight ends. Bounce it outside, one missed tackle, and you got a big play. And so a first down and goal now with 447 remaining in the third. If there's a crack in the dam anywhere, the water usually finds it, doesn't it? And today... Tyron Matthew is the guy with the two putt returns that really busted this thing open. LSU has to spend another time out. And they have one remaining. It comes with four minutes and 31 seconds to go. Third quarter. We've got to do something to get you out of your New Year's Eve funk. It's like Facebook, but real. Oh, it's on. There's gonna be more celebrities here than rehab. <laughs> okay. What do you think? You look hot. 
Don't you show your head to me, young lady. Not yet. Oh, please don't yell at my... Oh, I never will. New Year's Eve. There's nothing wrong in Charlie or something. Uh, trust me, but those aren't little. Rated PG-13. Leadership. Excellence. Performance. It's what Heisman and Aflac's all about. <laughs> Aflac, an official partner of the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> Who fills their holidays with sawdust? With quarter-inch holes and blueprints for the coming year? Those of us with doers on our lists. And because it's always better to give than to guess, we can take these last few days of shopping and our holiday budgets a lot further. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. There's still time to give a new project or two. Pick up your Home Depot gift cards online or in-store. I think I'm falling, I think I'm falling, I think I'm falling. This is your moment. For you. This is Zales, the diamond store. Take up to an extra 15% off store-wide now through Tuesday. CBS Monday, a night of passion could lead to a lifetime of pain. I'm pregnant. Are you sure you're not just getting fat? <laughs> New How I Met Your Mother, CBS Monday. Tyron Matthew has been the star of the game with uh, two huge punt returns, one for touchdowns, but on a play earlier, Gary, he might have twisted his back. Yeah, a little right bit. at the end of the play when he lays out, gets up and grimaces just a bit. Let's check in with more. Here's Tracy. Well, thanks, Vern. As you guys mentioned, it is a lower back for Tyron Matthew. He just told me, though, he's okay. He's laughing out here on the sideline. They did give him a heating pad, though, to keep on it. While he's on the bench, he is expected to go back in. Tracy, thank you. First down goal, LSU. With an 11-point lead, and Alfred Blue is the running back. Blue spins down to the eight-yard line, tackle made by Garrison Smith. Well, Vern, you made the point earlier. Kenny Hilliard is their number four back on their depth chart. Spencer Ware is listed number one. Michael Ford has been a big story in this game, and Alfred Blue is now emerging. Four running backs. Really, you can close your eye and run the ball with those four guys. And, Gary, there's no discernible pattern. No, the, 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 the only thing I can see is Michael Ford. They like to go with the option with Michael Ford. Fastest of the bunch. And and good must have good hands to catch the pitch. Now Ware and Hilliard are in there. Jefferson throws it, caught by Hilliard. Bounces off the tackle. And LSU adds to its lead. Well, if you're going to hang with these guys, you got to hang for 60 minutes. Arkansas had him for a while, and then they blew it open. And now Boykin just can't handle that big man. Remember, he was playing high school last year. That guy. Right. And he played it fairly well for his high school career. 8,603 yards rushing. Kenny Hilliard. Well, remember, 12 yards in the first half, 108 in the second half. And they've blown it open. 28-10. Kenny Hilliard with his third touchdown of the ball game. I think I'm falling. I think I'm falling. I think I'm falling. This is your moment. This is Zales, the diamond store. Take up to an extra 15% off store-wide now through Tuesday. If it's time for tailgating, it's time for s'mores. Pure chocolate goodness that brings people together. Pure Hershey's. 3.45 to go in the third. It's been all LSU in this quarter. Don't forget, later in the game, the play of the game, presented by Napa Auto Parts. The way Georgia is having trouble with injuries at running back, and the smaller running backs are having a tough time picking up the guys and helping, 
I'm wondering if you'd be better off to go five wide receivers and throw it every down. Think? Well, I don't know what else yeah. they got. Hairston will kick off. They had this team on the ropes, but didn't put them away. Boykin at the goal line. Ouch. And another injury report. Here is Tracy. Well, guys, you mentioned the injuries to the Georgia running backs, and now Carlton Thomas on the bench right now with a left knee injury, ice wrapped around it. They do not expect him to return, guys. Gets worse, huh? And Crowell limping a little bit, having problems with pass blocking. Richard Samuel, who is the strongest of their running backs, he is uh, not even in uniform. He could, they're down to Carlton Thomas. Is that what they're down to? Hart, Brandon well, Hart, number 20, right? Number 20, Brandon he's, Hart. He's 5'6", 170 pounds. And a walk-on. And not enough players on the field. He got 10. Aaron White was the late add, the senior tight end. He has a touchdown catch tonight. First down, 10 from the 23. Chris Conley makes this catch, the freshman. Mark yeah. Rick uh, telling us. I, I'd go no huddle. Would, yeah, I, I'm really? You. Okay. I mean, that's that's all you got. And they not. will. Yep. They're, they're, they're tired on the offensive line. They're starting to get manhandled. Their only chance is to try to make it a finesse game now and get a hot quarterback. That one batted back. Rejected by Michael Brockers, number 90. Third down. I mean, think about that statement from John Chavis. I wouldn't trade Brockers and Logan, two sophomores, for Albert Hainsworth and John Henderson. Two All Americans. That's a, that's a fairly strong endorsement. Yes. And Third down even, three. He's not even talking about now. The Hainsworth of now. He's talking about the Hainsworth of then. Yes. Murray, Charles, uh, appears that he will be given a spot that will ensure a first down. Eric Reed, number one, made the tackle. Now you got to make it a passing game. The quick throws should keep your offensive line from having to obviously handle these guys for too long. Now, will LSU start to squat and get one of those, you know, the gamble on a throw and get a big interception? What's coming? Murray incomplete. Well, Gary alluded to it, uh, the missed opportunities for the Bulldogs in the first half. Well, yeah, they had the champ, basically. Call LSU the champ on the ropes early. And they got, let him off the map. They could have put him away. And when they didn't put him away, didn't make the plays when they had him to really get some space in this football game. LSU found it and made him pay badly. Second down, 10. With 2.34 to go in the third. And uh, Crowell is back in there, but a uh, modest gain, perhaps three. You know, I remember back to that West Virginia game. I think it was like, you know, 28-7, 27-7, something like that. All of a sudden, West Virginia just threw, 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 and cut it to two, like one touchdown. And then, remember, Claiborne had that kickoff return that changed the game. You could feel that they were in the game, and Claiborne changed it. I think that is actually the Georgia fans were booing Crowell on that one. Hmm. Malcolm is in. Running back. Murray going to be sacked. Down at the 31. LaBar Edwards gets this one. Well, this time it was third and long. And a five-yard pass ain't going to get it. You have to hold the ball a little too long. And when you hold it just an ounce too long, Gates get overpowered and a sack. And Odell Beckham Jr. is on to return the punt now in place of Tyron Matthew. He drifts back near the 26-yard line. 
Drew Butler will punt yet again. Boy, pretty agile catch. He would have, he would have liked to add one of those earlier. Yes. Forty-five yard punt, one on the return Thursday on CBS. Don't miss People's Choice nominee for Best New Drama, Person of Interest. New episode Thursday, only CBS. Michael Ford and Copeland to the running backs. Beckham comes to the near side and Jefferson, quarterback. He's played every offensive down. Ruben Randall, top of the screen. You know, those big guys, John Jenkins, Kwame Gathers, big guys in the middle, they could be getting tired. Option call is a good call. Got a good downfield block from Copeland. And a gain of 11 for Michael Ford. Yeah, since halftime, it's been all offense for LSU. And these guys, these big guys that are run stoppers inside, now sucking a little wind. First down 10. Spencer Ware. Sean Williams with the tackle. Well, who would have thunk it? Start of that third quarter, and they go through the third quarter, the punt return, the turnovers, and what was a tight game, all LSU. Yeah. Well, Aaron Murray's fumble recovered by Tyron Matthew. That set up. Uh, they got so many weapons, just so many different ways to attack you. So we've reached the end of three with LSU leading 28-10. We'll return to the Georgia Dome right after this word from your local station. If you're looking for a pickup truck, check out the miles per gallon, the length of the powertrain warranty, and the horsepower. Only Ram delivers this kind of muscle. That'll thin out the herd real quick. Guts, glory, Ram. Don't miss the new hit drama, Person of Interest, Thursday, only CBS. The SEC Championship Game is sponsored by Gary Barbera. It's official. The Big B Barbera's on the boulevard. Number one volume Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealer in Philly, South Jersey, and Delaware, too. Because all we do is discount Dodge's, Chrysler's, and Jeep's cheap. Like Barbera's famous $129 a month gas and go. $129 a month? Now you know why business is boom, boom, booming at Barbera's. See for yourself at 1-800-BARBERA.com. Why Barbera's on the boulevard is number one. Is Barbera the best? <laughs> Boy, I guess. Why miss your favorite shows when Xfinity has the latest episodes from all the major networks, all on demand and all included with your service? Catch up and keep up with The X Factor, The Biggest Loser, Two and a Half Men, Dancing with the Stars, and other favorites. Just click On Demand on your remote, click TV series, and click Catch Up. With the latest episodes from all the major networks, Xfinity On Demand has what you demand. It's the one event, the one time, the best deals. It's your Quality Plus Sports Store's year-end celebration. Get once-a-year deals on America's best-selling brand. Now you can get a new Ford Focus with no money down, no interest for three years plus 500 cash back, or you can lease for just $169 a month. Plus, save even more with up to 40 miles per gallon. It's the year-end celebration, going on now at your Quality Plus Ford Store.
some people love their cars almost as much as they love their team. How about them dogs? We welcome you back to the Georgia Dome in downtown Atlanta. We begin the start of fourth quarter, 20th annual SEC championship. And LSU its will with three touchdowns in the third quarter and the unquestioned star of this game, Tyron Matthew. Second down, six. Vern Lundquist, Gary Danielson, Tracy Wolfson, the rest of our crew here in Atlanta. Option. Jefferson. Keeps it. Well, you had a feeling, Gary, late in the second quarter that LSU was beginning to impose itself. I, I did. They, yep. they, uh, they, I bet they were a little nervous. They're playing for an undefeated season. Georgia hit them pretty hard, but you can see they have a lot. Of, there's no, I mean, there's no hiding it here. This is why they beat everybody by double figures right. except one team. I mean, they got a good football team. Hard to finish, though. You want to win a championship. You want to win all your football games. You don't want to leave it to the voters. You know, you, I know they feel they're in, but you want to say, heck with leaving it up to them. We want to do it our way. Yes. Third and short. Jefferson. Russell Shepard trying to get deep. And Cornelius Washington, did he grab a face mask? Or was it a horse collar? Ah. That's what we've got. Yep. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, 83 of the defense. Just run in behind the line of scrimmage to follow the follow the force from the previous spot. Yeah. Automatic first down. That's the call right there. Yep. Be honest with you, I broke my ankle on a play just like that. Did you? Yep. Horse collar, dragged in, guy fell on the back of my ankle and couldn't dunk after that. Of course I couldn't dunk before. <laughs> I, that. I was I knew that was coming. <laughs> I <t> <laughs> Uh, you telegraphed it. So the first down for Jefferson. Les Miles. Uh, Jefferson struggled in the first half, as did the entire offense. LSU went the entire first half with zero first downs. And Les told Tracy at the break, we might see Jarrett Lee. No sign of that so far in this quarter. Here's Alfred Blue. Think well, about this. They've got four running backs yeah. with six touchdowns. Greg Shadrawa said, you know, we turn on the tape now. Usually at this time of the year, we look at the practice tape and go, wow, they look like they got heavy legs. He said, now we turn on the tape. They all look as fresh like it was the first day of fall practice. Where Ford, Blue, and Hilliard. Quite a quartet. Second down eight. And just to emphasize the point, let's uh, show you the highlights of the fourth team tailback <laughs> of LSU. Well, he burst onto the scene when an opportunity was given to him. He was playing fullback, but then he became their big change-up tailback. And They've got at least two more years with that guy. Uncle Dalton Hilliard, as we told you earlier, was the second all-time leading rusher in LSU history. Spencer Ware. As he made the cut to the right, he met resistance from Sean Williams, number 30. Sure did. That is big time football. And why you need more than one tailback yeah. in the SEC. Because Sean Williams meets this one head on. Oh, look at that. So Spencer Ware will uh, head to the sideline. It's fourth down and four.
field goal would make it 31. The 51 cool. yard field goal. Mm -hmm. Let's going to think about it. Holloman's longest of the year is 44. So time to chat. LSU controlling this one 28 to 10 early fourth. Four teams remain. If there's a team that could do it, I definitely think it's us. Only two episodes to go. Don't look down. <gasps> On a new Amazing Race, CBS Sunday. LG Cinema 3D glasses are sensibly priced. For more fun, with more friends. Experience the next generation 3D TV. LG Cinema 3D. More people, more fun. Conventional 3D glasses need recharging regularly. Still missing the 3D action? Introducing the next generation 3D TV LG Cinema 3D. Battery free, hassle free. My electric bill was breaking the bank. So to save some money, I trained this team of guinea pigs to row this tiny boat. They generate electricity, which lets me surf the web all day. Took me six months to train each one. Eight months to get the little chubby one to yell row. It was kind of strange. Such a simple word. Row. There's an easier way to save. Get online. Go to geico.com. Get a quote. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And now it's time for our Geico Game Recap. And it's the pageantry of the 20th annual SEC Conference Championship here in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia scored first. Touchdown pass after a field goal, and that made it 10 nothing as Aaron White caught the toss. And then the big play of the game thus far. Tyron Matthew, as he weaved his way for 62 yards, and a little controversy at the end as he flipped the ball. Did he or did he not actually cross the line? Uh, it was not reviewed. Here is the star of the third quarter, Kenny Hilliard, the freshman. That's the first of three. Here's the second of the trio. Stiff arm in the corner. And then just to show a little versatility, nice catch, almost dropped it, and runs over Brandon Boykin. So here we are in the fourth quarter, the top-ranked team in the country, LSU leading 28-10. Brad Wing is on. Never know what he'll do. No, I did. I was just thinking the same thing. All right. He had the run against Florida for 52 yards, the last eight. Wiped out because of the taunting penalty. You know, you might think 51 yard field goal, why not go for it? Drew Alamon has not tried one more than 37 yards since game three. That's wow. how dominant this LSU offense is mean. That means they all their field goal tries, the ball was inside the 20. On the kicking team, a penalty's declined, fourth out. Alamon. Penalty is declined. Imagine that. Third game since they tried a field goal. Yeah. More than 37 yards. That means it's from the 27 yard line. It means they got to get to the 20. <laughs> Jeez, how dominating has this team been? Yeah. Well, they started out with that win over then third ranked Oregon. Followed up with then 25th ranked Mississippi State. Confusion here is whether Georgia accepted the penalty. But the job Mark Rick has done this year, though, mm -hmm. he was on the hot seat for the first game. You know, when the publications came out in the spring, the guy they talked about was Mark Rick's on the hot seat. And then, you know, if you're an SEC team, you're Georgia, and you lose to Boise State in this dome, it gets hotter. And then you go home and lose to South Carolina, 45-42. Yeah, His wing. And it's downed. Looks like a 15-yarder, 15 15-yard 15 line. Brad Wing. His mom and dad moved from Australia. They now live in Baton Rouge. 
28-10, 11.32 to go in the ball game. The droid Razor by Motorola. The first droid to become self-aware. It remembers what you do and does it faster. Creates shortcuts, like automatically syncing while you sleep. Instinctively shape-shifting from a music stream for your workout to news feed during breakfast, then a GPS for your morning commute. Powered by Verizon 4G LTE, this droid is too powerful to fall into the wrong hands. The finest leather boots are at Big Bill's Boots. <laughs> Try Chick-fil-A's Peppermint Chocolate Chip Milkshake. Available only for the holidays. You never told me Autotrader.com had new cars. I'd love a new 2011. These are sweet. But what kind of deal can I get? Okay, just special offers. Now compare brand spanking new cars and special offers. That one. So you can find the one new car your head and heart can agree on. Whoa. Autotrader.com, now the ultimate new car marketplace. The SEC Championship game on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper, is sponsored by the Droid Razor. Allstate. Autotrader.com. And by new Dr. Pepper 10. We welcome you back inside the Georgia Dome. LSU 28-10. And uh, let's step back and take a look again at the current BCS standings. LSU 1,000%. Unanimous number one, Alabama. Unanimous number two, followed by Oklahoma State. Big game at home against Oklahoma. Yeah. Tonight. And everybody's telling us, I don't know it, I don't understand it, but that it's almost a given that Alabama can't be passed by Oklahoma State. Yeah. They've just won enough players, people will not change their vote. They've got too big of a lead. Eric Reed was 35 yards deep before that snap. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Malcolm Mitchell took a hit from Kevin Minter. Number 46. All right, those little check down passes are going to get a little scary. You, as an offensive player now, have to be ready when you're throw getting the ball thrown to you. And that was helmet to helmet right there also. To get your head around fast and know that LSU will likely be playing zone, so they're going to run to the ball. Aaron Murray for the day, 14 of 32. They needed a little bigger game out of him. Well, and early, they needed something out yeah. of their running department. Here's Slide. Murray, yeah. He not didn't. Going. No. First time. Well, Jerry Palm is widely regarded as a BCS guru. I don't know how one earns that distinction, but he is. And this is what he said. It's like there is no number three. That's how far behind Oklahoma State they are. Georgia would have to win the SEC championship, and there would be some voter epiphany can't imagine that, and so it would appear more well, you know, Go ahead. In the first half, Vern, kind of felt a lot of people were watching and saying, well, maybe an offensive team would be a better matchup with yeah. these guys. And now I think they're saying, no, no. <laughs> you got to have a defensive team to stop these guys. And I think the more people watch, the more they said, God, if you don't have a strong defense to stop them, you have no chance. Yeah. So it went from, well, let's look at Oklahoma State to, Alabama might be the only guys. Well, Georgia played so well defensively, particularly in that first half, but yep. just got worn down. They don't have enough depth. Yet. Yeah. You know, they're better. But those two long punt returns, too, that was the end of the game. Montgomery comes from the right side. Murray and his receiver slipped and was hit at the same time. So they're going to call Ryan Baker on this one. Yep. Baker was jamming. He did not know the ball was in the air. 
Isaiah Crowell gets into it. Now here comes flag. a couple of flags. See if they're offsetting or not. Crowell number one. Now he's going to get an earful from Mark or earful from Mark Richt. See the jam, bottom of the screen. Ball was in the air, easy call. Then Isaiah Crowell just a, a little bit too talkative for me. Mm-hmm. And here comes the other flag. Remember when we talked to Malcolm Mitchell uh, before uh, yesterday? We were talking to he and Aaron Murray, Ben Jones, and Aaron White. And we kept asking questions, and Malcolm Mitchell didn't say a word. Not one. And we looked at him and said, do you talk? It's like, I'm a freshman. I don't talk. <laughs> There's two fouls on the play. Pass interference. Defense number 22. That penalty would be enforced at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Following the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number one of Georgia. 15-yard penalty. First down. Well, you got a sense just talking with various people in and around the football program at Georgia that there's a little unhappiness with Isaiah Crowell. Well, Mark keeps saying he's young, and he had everything come easy to him as a high school player. He's got to learn to play at this level. Some guys, like Marcus Lattimore, it comes easy to. Uh, Matthew came easy to as a freshman. Some guys, it takes another year. And after both of those uh, infractions, it's first down and 10 at the 23. Murray across the middle, yep. caught by Orson down. Charles. Yep, Brandon Taylor was up on top, and you know, Darnell Hatcher. As they go no huddle, you know, Alabama lost the game. And everybody says, you know, why should they get the shot? And a lot of arguments either way that everybody else had a chance to pick up the baton, and they didn't do it either. Wisconsin, Boise State, Virginia Tech, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, they all had a chance to eliminate Alabama, and they didn't do it. Here's the pass over to Malcolm. And he's got a first down. The scrum moves out across the 45. And that's exactly what the Georgia players should be telling each other. We might not win this game, but let's finish this game, okay? We got here. They're a good team, granted, but let's finish the game. What a run by Malcolm that time. Yes. First down, 10. Nobody open. Now he's got a man open, but he one hops it at the 45. That was intended for Chris Conley. Well, consensus seems to be a rematch is going to happen. Take a look at their BCS resumes between Alabama and Oklahoma State. They're getting ready to kick off tonight against Oklahoma. One more game. They have an opportunity. Will the voters look at him enough, or was that big game, the game of the century, enough for everybody want to see it again? I personally think we need more. You mm -hmm. know, it's hard not to let Alabama play rules are the rules. You know, that year in 2006 with Michigan, and at Ohio least there State. was a Florida to match a good resume against. Yes. Oklahoma State has some matchup problems. Murray got him again. Jamaria Resco, the fourth sack for LSU. Yeah, he's about their 10th defensive lineman that they play. Third string. And that'll bring up third down and 17. See, when you've won five championships in a row, you've got to stand out. Now, when you're in an offensive conference, good. Oklahoma State was third, okay? When you're in a defensive conference, LSU and Alabama won and two, but 107th? Mm -hmm. you got to be in the 50s to make a statement. Uh, nobody believes Oklahoma State can win. Here's the pass and the incidental contact ruled at the 35-yard line. 
It was intended for Chris Conley and he got mixed up with Therald Simon. Now this is not my system. It's not the one I would right. devise, but it is the system. End of this play. And the catch was made by the ball boy. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. Here comes Matthew onto the field as a late ad. Fourth down. And Beckham is back at the 20 yard line. Now that'll be effective. Very effective. Comes to rest at the six yard line. That's the one they needed to start the third quarter. Yes. Well, LSU trailed 10 to 7 at the half. But they have dominated defensively here in the second half, and they lead by 18. I'm a streaker. I'm 300 pounds, painted blue, and apart from the cleats, I'm completely naked. And if you've got 15-minute insurance, it might not pay for this. So get all state. Mm. You can save cash and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. Shop less, get more. Make one call to an Allstate agent. How are we going to make this season better than the last? How about making it brighter? More colorful? And putting all our helpers to work. So we can build on our favorite traditions by adding a few new ones. We've all got garlands and budgets to stretch, and this year we can keep them both evergreen. More saving, more doing, that's the power of the Home Depot. Can you smell those savings? Fresh cut Christmas trees are arriving weekly. I know belts and hoses, not X and noses. I do O2 sensors, but not defenses. Yeah, I make a right call to keep your car in the game. Don't even need a playbook, it's all in Collision. Cincinnati battles Pittsburgh. Or Oakland meets Miami. The NFL across the country. Sunday on CBS. 8.08 to go. LSU dominating now, leading 28 to 10. Continue looking at a comparison between Alabama and Oklahoma State. Well, you can see there's just more that people will look at. Offensive team versus a defensive team. Now remember, if Oklahoma State does beat Oklahoma tonight, the computers will put them at number two. So it will be the voters the way it should be. The human polls decide who plays. And again, there are two polls that matter in the BCS. The AP is not one of them. It's the coaches poll and uh, the Harris Interactive. Up the middle, Kenny Hilliard. He might have a future as a collegiate football player at LSU. Ogletree with the tackle. LSU, they couldn't run the ball at all in the first half. You can see Georgia is just not the same team. No. They had the heart cut out of them. Those turnovers, those punt returns just changed their whole self-image. That's why Todd Grantham was pounding the board. He knew he could feel his team losing the intensity. That was a 17-yard gain, and Hilliard now six carries for 44 yards. Here's the option pitch. Hilliard again. Another first down, Boykin. Well, the AP pulled out of the BCS, I can't remember how many years ago, but said, no, we're not part of it. And they do crown their own national champions and over a champion. And over the years, we've had splits. Yeah, you remember the USC one? They were playing Michigan in that game. LSU sitting there, wins one half of the championship. Remember Oklahoma lost to get into that, that game? USC wins it, and AP decided to give USC half the championship. I've advocated that LSU has done enough already. No, no, Alabama beats them. They're each going to have one win. Yeah. 
I've advocated that LSU on the basis of what they've done in the regular season has earned at least a share of the title. Kenny Hilliard again that's a gain of 15. One of the few teams that still run the toss and they run it inside. Todd Grantham talked to us about that. It really gives his linebackers problems. They see the toss and they overrun it to the outside and it's cut back into the middle of the play. 6.35 to go. There was Todd Grantham on the uh, Georgia sideline. And this LSU team has beaten three teams ranked in the top three this right. year. Up the middle we go, Alfred Blue! All the way for a touchdown for Louisiana State. What a fantastic year this team has had. Mark Frick's team gave them everything they had early. But this time, Stanley couldn't even find anybody to block. Right. 35 is going, all right, who do I block? Who do I have? Nobody. And Blue ran right by him. Now he has become the leading rusher in the ball game. Here's Aleman's extra point. 48 yards for Alfred Blue. He's the third team tailback. <laughs> Alfred Blue pads the lead. Ladies, ah, enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. Toughest job on the planet just got a little easier with one touch technology and even an air scrubber. The Nissan Quest. Innovation for family, innovation for all. Get up to $3,050 total savings on the 2011 Nissan Quest. CBS, America's most watched network. Booyah! Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 6.17 to go, 35-10 LSU. Now time for the play of the game presented by Napa Auto Parts. And with the call, Jim Hawthorne of the LSU Radio Network. There's the snap. LSU wants to set up the run, and there's a great putt. Matthew backing up. He's going to have a chance, though. He takes it into 39 at the 40. Comes to the outside. 45. He's at midfield. Runs past the man. 40. He's cutting back the other way. He's at the 30. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10. He may go home, and he does. Holy cow. 62 yards for the Honey Badger. <laughs> Well, he does leave you looking for adjectives, doesn't he? Doesn't he? It's number seven. Oh, my goodness. And there's the other side. Yeah, but Georgia played a tough game. I, I, you know, they gave it everything they had. They catch a couple of those balls in the first quarter. We, you know, I mean, think about this. LSU at 35 points with no first downs in the first half. That's right. Sam Montgomery from South Carolina. Spurned the offer to attend the University of South Carolina. Here is Harrison's kickoff taken by Boykin.
And he's brought down near the 15 yard line. Well, I want to say hi to a young man on the sideline. Here is LSU's best offensive <laughs> lineman, Josh DeRozic. And he broke an ankle in August. Hasn't been able to play a single down this year. But helping out on the sidelines and uh, he must have wistful feelings about missing what is going to be an undefeated regular season. Yeah. And as Vern told you, he, he was their linchpin on the offensive line. They just plug in two more guys. They're actually rotating three guys now between Bear, Blackwell, and Williford. So that means Williford's their fourth guard. Yes. <laughs> Aaron Murray 16 of 37 tonight. Well, Gary, we we've all uh, discussed and cussed the BCS yes. system. Yes. Uh, so we we ask you to come up with uh, maybe an alternative plan. Better idea. And we'll get to it right after this. I don't know. Play. If, I don't know if it's better. It's different. I like it though. So, having seen a preview. You and our producer Craig Silver said, "Come up with something." Right. What you got in mind? All right. So first of all, let's put some rules down here. Well, I'm going to put six teams in the playoff. Okay. The top six. Okay. And we're top. Now you're going to choose this from a selection committee. I'm going to get rid of these voters that hardly watch anybody. I want people who are accountable to make their decisions. The top two seeds have to be champions of their conference. And we'll continue after this play. We must make these championships mean something. Right. Third down. Third and three. That'll be a first down for Georgia. And back to you, back to your idea. And just like the NFL, what do those top conference champions get? They get home games or a bye. So that's what the top two seeds get in my formula, a bye. So this is what it looks like. If everything held with the chalk, LSU's the best team. Oklahoma State, if they win, they'll be conference champions. Right. They get the two seed. Under consideration are all the champions and the at-large teams. This year, Alabama. Is it a conference with another good team? They got to make it as an at-large team. Long pass is incomplete. So you had a list of possible Yeah, these are other the guys. So this okay. is the chalk. You know, Michigan State could win. I don't know if Virginia Tech's going to win, but if the chalk held, this is the way it would go. Alabama would be the top at-large team. They would face off against Oregon. The winner of that game would play Oklahoma State in the Final Four. Stanford and Virginia Tech would play. The winner of that game would play LSU. We'd have a Final Four, and people would play their way to a championship, and we would have had 30 teams alive two weeks in, with less than the season instead of three teams alive. Just an idea. I like it. I feel like Paul Ryan throwing something out there, Congressman, <laughs> let everybody just <laughs> attack it. <laughs> well, there's uh, under five to go now. Remember this moment after the Alabama game at home last year. Tracy Wolfson saw this. Les Miles eating grass from Tiger Stadium's turf. Well, you think that's a setup for something that's going to follow? Could be. Third down here. Murray. Intercepted. Picked off by Morris Claiborne. Heads to the five. In for the touchdown. cornerback in the league. That's what people say. 45 yard return for the touchdown. Well when you're throwing all the time we said a little earlier they're going to start squatting on these throws. Everybody's looking for a gamble. Aaron Murray's going to get ready for next year. He had a nice run this year. Go back and Study it, get stronger, get better, be a better quarterback, and bring your team back next year. Yep. 
This 10 game win streak is going to end for the Georgia Bulldogs. And the win streak continues for the Tigers of LSU. 42-10. Please welcome Dustin Johnson. Well, he's part of that new group. He's built the perfect swing. He's an all-around athlete. Really making an impact out there on the tour these days. He's an amazing athlete. Excellent golfer. Hits a ball country mile. The rip and rip. He can crush a ball. It's amazing. I mean, it's crazy. Incredible. It's his time now. 42-10, Morris Claiborne getting the congratulations on the bench. Let's check in with Tracy Wilson. Well, guys, you mentioned when, LS, when Les Miles tasted that grass, and you're thinking this is artificial grass. There is no way he had a taste of it. But actually, you're wrong. Since the first game of the year, Les has brought with him Tiger Stadium grass on the road. It remains in his pocket during the game and has become a good luck charm, guys. Is it uh, like the Red Arbuck cigar? Cigar, that may, that may be it. That may be it. 42 unanswered points by LSU. Georgia at one point led 10-0. And now this has taken on uh, a reminiscence of the win over Arkansas last yep. Friday. You better, Ninth game with 40 points. Better be balanced to beat these guys. You know, you, you have to be like, uh, you know, Alabama's built, like USC is built. They're not eligible. This. you got to have offense and defense. You can't be tilted in one direction. They'll embarrass you. Hairston plants it for the touchback. Hudson Mason is going to come on now. T-Bob Bear, Petite Bob. He's T-Bob Hebert the third, named so by his grandmother. He's got a younger brother, Bo. You'd think B-O, right? And for Bo's 16th birthday, he asked his mom to let him go to court and change his name, which he did. And so T-Bob's brother is now B-E-A-U-X, Bo. Mason. And off to Ken Malcolm. Bob's father, of course, Bobby, uh, played for both the Falcons and the Saints, and T-Bob grew up here in the Atlanta area. And for Aaron Murray, ouch. 16 of 40, 163, one touchdown, and two interceptions in the game. Yeah, five drop balls, though, that bring yeah. to 50%. Chris Conley, number 31. It's amazing. One of the, and they're very, very high on this guy. They really feel he's a gunslinger. I asked if uh, Hudson had to play, what would you do? And said, we'd throw. He's mm. a great throw. From Marietta, Georgia, one of the suburbs of Atlanta. And he'll run it this time and slides baseball like. Be second down. Keep those cameras on less. He may, he looks like he's already <laughs> chewing to me there. Well, look, look at what he has done now. He's in his seventh year. He's about to win his 75th game. Right, he's averaging 10 wins a year. Amazing. And the, the old saw, another this one's drop. another drop. Remember when they used to, even the, the fans of LSU would say, well, he's only winning with Saban's guys. That talk has ended. And they're they're going to have another great recruiting class. Alabama's going to have another great recruiting class. Georgia's going to have another great recruiting class. The SEC is not going to take a drop here. No. Nope. And I've been telling people for five years, these guys can play in this league. The danger of this current system is, as you see the Gatorade thing almost come, is if you lose one game in this conference against a tough competition and somebody else goes undefeated, you could have the best conference in the country not having a guy in the playoffs. Yes. That's, that's what doesn't make sense to me and why they need to expand it right now. You can't have your marquee conference 
have a champion, let's say it's LSU again next year with one loss, and they're out of the playoffs because two teams from lesser conference are undefeated. That makes no sense to me. Well, the Gatorade bath has uh, been prepared and will be delivered shortly. 2.25 to go. Mason back. Deep left side. Conley with a comeback. Oh, Makes the catch, yeah. Claiborne with a tackle. Yeah, Claiborne's not feeling well. He's going, he's hurt. Yeah, he did. Let's cut the Gatorade splash, huh? Ouch. Woo. Woo. Claiborne wants off the field. I don't know if he's got an ankle sprain or whatever, but he's twice tried to get out of there. Nobody's watching. Everybody's watching less. Yes. First down, 10. Mason diving try. Michael Bennett. That's not good. Well, Les Miles, head coach at Oklahoma State for four years. But uh, the championship years, overall 34 and 6, 17 and 9, 08 and 09, only 8 and 8 in the SEC. And then LSU escapes Tennessee when Tennessee was called with uh, too many men on the field. And they had the fake field goal that bounced off the ground against Florida. Right. Fourth down reverse call against Alabama. That changed it. I think that was the pivot point. Mason. 152 to go. <laughs> yes, you are. So they'll go to the Superdome. Right. And this will be the third time, by the way, they've won the SEC championship and followed up with a trip to the BCS championship in New Orleans. Right. Oklahoma, Ohio State, and now everybody says it's Alabama. On third down to the 22. That's Malcolm. Now this team has overcome a lot this year. Beginning with the the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease for their offensive coordinator brand new Steve Cragthorpe that occurred in the summer. Steve relinquished his responsibilities stayed on as the quarterback coach. And uh, Greg Stugala took over as the offensive coordinator. There was the suspension of Jefferson and Johns for four games. Russell Shepard suspended for an NCAA violation for three games to start the year. The three players, including Matthew, Theral Simon, and Spencer Ware, suspended for one week for uh, failing a drug test, widely reported. And through it all, they stuck together, and they've had a wonderful, wonderful year. That one's incomplete. Yeah, I think his key decision now is sticking with Jordan Jefferson. You know, a lot of people said, all right, come on, Jarrett Lee's having a great season. I'll say again, though, there's 30 great players on this team, but the most valuable player is Jarrett Lee. He got them through the beginning of the season when they weren't going to win without his stellar play. They would not be playing for the national championship if he didn't stick it out and do his job as the backup quarterback. Well, you can tell, can't you, Gary, on his uh, uh, his demeanor on the sideline? Uh, it's been a tough month. Sure. Really sure. a tough month. The quarterback's a tough, <laughs> it's a tough position. There's Zach Mettenberger, an ex-Georgia player, is the heir apparent next year. Third and goal. Mason, fourth and goal. Michael Bennett, the intended receiver. I think it was Derek Bryant, number 36, that did a good job just getting his hands on that ball right at the end. John Jenkins, nose tackle. Away in 
complete. Aaron White was the intended receiver. And the ball goes over on downs. At the half, LSU had five yards rushing. Five yards. In the second half, they have 203 yards on the ground. So with 31 seconds to go. There, we've seen five straight national championships together, right, Vern? This right. is a team that could be the sixth. I really see, think, as you watch Jared Lee come out on the field, this is as strong as any of them. I mean, this team could play with any of those five teams. We had a great Florida team, Alabama team, Auburn team. I think this team would match up well with any of those teams. So Jared Lee takes a knee, and this one is over. The champions of the SEC in this 20th game still undefeated and ranked number one in the country, the Tigers of LSU. Mark Rick, Les Miles. Comfortable exchange at midfield. And now, the presentation for the player of the game, the Chick-fil-A player of the game. Who else? Tyron Matthew, five tackles, one for loss, one fumble recovery, and two punt returns for a total of 119 yards. One of them went for a touchdown. Let's go down to Tracy with Les Miles. Coach, I don't know. After that slow start, that had to be one heck of a half speech what did you say to them had nothing to do with a halftime speech it was just a piece of a team that just definitely wanted to continue to fight and there was no question that we were going to show ourselves and, and play like we came to play uh, Tyron Matthew got it started with a great punt return and again um, we just seem to do the things we need to do to win everyone wanted to talk about that birth in the national championship game and you can do it now what does that mean to you and this team to finally have that opportunity well we can turn our attention fully now to that game you know to pretend that this team here wasn't looking at that game kind of all along be hard for me to say but now there is only one game to play well good luck congratulations thank you very much and I have Tyron Matthew right over here and Tyron once again the playmaker did you feel the pressure to get things started after that slow start absolutely you know I think my team looked forward to me making that making that big time play and trying to change the momentum of the game I didn't try to do too much you know when, the, when I got the ball in my hands you know I just try to make one guy miss and then just get to the end zone well, you did just enough and more and for you to have a chance to win a national championship game in your hometown what would that mean you know it's a dream come true you know I can't wait to play for my family and friends and you know this we worked so hard for starting in the spring and in the summer you know we've been through a lot this year you know we overcame a lot too so I you know I think a lot of people doubt us you know but at the end of the day you know we SEC champions congratulations enjoy it thank you appreciate it and so the Honey Badger leads the way to an LSU victory. They win it 42-10 with 42 unanswered points. For Gary Danielson, Tracy Wolfson, I'm Vern Lundquist saying so long from the Georgia Dome, the final 42-10. The Jeep Post Game Show is up next after these messages and a word from your local stations. I came to win. To fight, to conquer, to rise, to fly, to fly.
2012 Jeep Wrangler Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Edition. The toughest vehicle in the world. Any world. CSI Miami, Sunday, only CBS. Who ate my cookies and milk? Oh, um, brother. Hey, guys. Oh, sorry, I thought those were put out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Got a dash. Customers. <laughs> this holiday, Chevy's giving more. Very well qualified lessees can sign and drive a Chevy Malibu for around $213 a month. 33 years ago, we had a simple idea. Make the best vehicles in America and once a year offer them with special savings. Today, it's a phenomenon. Toyota Thon is back with incredible deals on a full selection of new Toyotas. Get a low introductory lease on an all new 2012 Camry for $239 a month. And save even more with Toyota Care, our complimentary maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Others have tried to copy it, but in the end, there's only one Toyota Thon. The biggest and best sales event of the year is going on now. CBS Sports presents the Jeep Post Game Show. Welcome to the Jeep Post Game Show. Tim Brando with a reminder. Tonight on CBS begins with the Big Bang Theory and How I Met Your Mother, followed by back-to-back -back editions of 48 Hours Mystery. That's all coming up tonight, only CBS. So LSU is SEC champion, ensuring that they'll be number one in the BCS and earn a spot in the national championship game. It wasn't just a title, it was a coronation in the second half. I'm joined by Spencer Tillman and Tony Barnard. And as you predicted in the pregame, Georgia played a very good half of football, Tony. And you know, guys, when you're going to knock off the number one team in the nation, you have got to take advantage of every opportunity. Who is, here's two big ones they missed. Tavares King in the end zone. Ball goes right through his hands. They had to settle for a field goal. Then Georgia gets an onside kick, and they come right back. Freshman Malcolm Mitchell, he drops it right there. Those were two huge opportunities missed. And guys, when it became clear that Georgia had broken the code on LSU's running game in the first half, holding them to a net five yards, you had to have somebody step up in the special teams area, and that was Taron Matthews. Here's one of his returns, and again, of course, the recovery on the fumble he jarred out. And that second one, like smoke through a keyhole, Tony, unbelievable return. I had an SEC coach tell a friend of mine this week that Tyron Matthew was the best football player he had ever seen being in this league over 20 years. A dominant force, and guys, this guy needs to go to New York. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, he needs to go to New York. Uh, and if the voters waited until after the games of this weekend, he likely will go to New York. And he's the leader in the clubhouse for next year's Heisman hype. Well, coming up, it's the presentation of the SEC Championship Trophy. That's when the Jeep postgame show continues. to Tracy Wolfson for the presentation of the SEC Championship Trophy. Tracy. What a game. What can we say? First off, let's congratulate the Georgia Bulldogs for making it here to Atlanta. Now, though, for the team that won it all here tonight, the SEC champions, the LSU Tigers. award to Tyron Matthew. And Tyron, a huge performance on such a big stage. Two huge punches. 
punt returns, including one for a touchdown, a fumble recovery. What was the key for you tonight here in Atlanta? You know, just do as much as I can for my team. You know, we, we started off slow, you know, but I, I just try to shift the momentum of the game. You know, these guys mean a lot to me, and to do it for them, you know, it's an honor. Well, congratulations. Now, yeah. to the head coach of the LSU Tigers, Les Miles. <laughs> And Les, let me ask you before we present the trophy, just to look around here and hear these fans. I saw it when you went over there. What is that like? Undefeated, regular season, SEC title, and a berth in the national championship game. When you're given the number one tag early in the season, the best way to wear it is by beating everybody with one to play. And how much about everything this team has overcome? We've talked the distractions week after week, and yet your team remained focused. Uh, this group of men are very close. They, uh, they have each other's back. This is a team that, that uh, is ambitious. They came into this season to win a championship, and nothing was to, going to deter them. After the first half, we go to the locker room. There was no question. The resolve was there. We were just waiting to get back on the field. And now you're headed to New Orleans to present, though, the SEC championship trophy, the commissioner of the SEC, Mike Slive. Thank you, Tracy. I want to congratulate the University of Georgia on a great season and wish them a lot of luck in the postseason. And now it's my pleasure to present to the LSU Tigers the 2011 SEC Football Championship Trophy. it's going to be, like it or not, LSU and Alabama for the national title. I'm see seeing a lot of bitterness out there about an all-SEC final, but guess what, fans around the country, if you can't take care of your business and win out your schedule, that's how it's going to be. The SEC's dominance is not going to change in the foreseeable future. We've had the best seat in the house over the last two weeks. We've watched this LSU team 80 unanswered points over the last two weeks against a number three and a team that won a division champion that won 10 straight. And understand, if the the goal of the BCS is to match the two best teams in college football. Then this year, the BCS met its goal because the LSU and Alabama are the two best teams in college football. There you see the heart of a champion exhibited on the field of play here in Atlanta. And coming up, a few final thoughts from the Chief Post Game Show. half a million apps and counting on the iPhone. Apps that can take you anywhere and do anything. You might say there's no limit to what this amazing device can do. So the question to ask is, why would anyone want to limit the iPhone? We don't. Truly unlimited data for your iPhone, only from Sprint. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the much-anticipated matchup between the Eagles and the Bulldogs. Ho hold on. I'm not quite sure what we're seeing right now, but cows are parachuting onto the field. I cannot believe what I'm watching. Two cows landing on the field. There's a third headed into the stands. <laughs> it's actually headed right towards a burger. For Look out! Oh, my. That's going on the highlight reel. LG Cinema 3D glasses are sensibly priced. For more fun, with more friends. Experience the next generation 3D TV. LG Cinema 3D. More people, more fun. Conventional 3D glasses need recharging regularly. Still missing the 3D action? Introducing the next generation 3D TV LG Cinema 3D. Battery free, hassle free.
thank you. For what? When things were tough, you kept believing in me. You helped make this happen. Thank you. Behind every open heart is a story. Tell yours with my open heart collection at K Jewelers, the number one jewelry store in America. There are millions of reasons to give one, but the message is always the same. Keep your heart open and love will always find its way in. You did it, Daddy. We did it. Every kiss begins with K. Tradition, honor, passion, and pride. The 112th Army-Navy Game, presented by USAA, next Saturday on CBS. Welcome back to the Jeep Post Game Show. A reminder that championship coverage picks up later tonight at 11.30 Eastern over on the CBS Sports Network with SEC Tonight presented by GEICO, part of our extensive SEC coverage. To find out how to get CBS Sports Network, go to cbsportsnetwork.com. Now, some other headlines from action today. Houston loses its shot for BCS bid by falling to Southern Mississippi. TCU moves closer to the Sugar Bowl with its win today, and West Virginia moves closer closer to the Orange Bowl with Cincinnati's win this afternoon. All right, let me get some final thoughts on this season and what's to come, Spencer. Well, listen, LSU, we just watched them go wide to wire. Just the fifth team in the BCS era to do such a feat. Unbelievable. The team they'll be facing in the national title game, Alabama, in the top five in the four major defensive categories. I'm on tiptoes of anticipation waiting for the rematch, gentlemen. If LSU beats Alabama again, we will have to look at this team as one for the ages, one of the greatest teams we have ever seen. Well, that will just about do it for tonight. Thanks for watching the Jeep Post Game Show. Here's a look at what you'll see tonight on CBS. A reminder, Gary Danielson is answering your college football questions live from the SEC on CBS Cruiser. Watch the fifth quarter presented by Aflac at cbsports.com slash Gary. Don't forget next Saturday, it's the 112th Army-Navy game presented by USAA. It all starts at 2 o'clock Eastern with autotrader.com college football today. And our coverage gets underway at noon Eastern with college basketball, Washington at number three Duke. There is more football tomorrow. The NFL on CBS. It's regional action. Many will see the Bengals and the Steelers. Coverage begins at noon Eastern with the NFL today. For all of us, including Archie Manning, who was with us, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and congratulations to LSU, champions of the SEC.